welcome to the most horsepowerful podcast on the internet, the Xbox Drive. Before we get this show on the road, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and ring that bell on YouTube, and leave a five-star rating or review on your podcatcher of choice. If you want to continue the conversation after the show, make sure you join the Carpool Gaming Discord. For exclusive content and all the Carpool shows in one simple feed, head over to patreon.com slash carpoolgaming. Finally, head over to carpoolgaming.com for all of your merch needs. Now, with all that out of the way, you better buckle up, Buttercup, because it's time for the Xbox Drive. Hey everyone, it's me, Sean Capri. I'm glad you're here because you're listening to the most horse powerful podcast on the internet. It's the Xbox Drive. I'm on a Skype call with my friends Mitch and Bowser. And on our journey today, we're going to talk about the best endings in games and what makes them great. So jump on into the Xbox Drive. Oh, and we're going to jump right on in, Bowser. This is just an old school <laughs> I love it. intro. I love it. <laughs> How else can we do it? We bring it yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. That brought back memories. Oh, man. I wasn't even sure what to say. I'm like, I better, like, once I start, I hope this works because I don't really remember how it goes, Mitch. <laughs> yeah. I hope you remember, too, because then you just go. And then uh, just buy. you got to You got to just, you got to trust yourself, man. It's like, 100%. I've only done it a couple hundred times. But, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a throwback for anybody who's new prior to these Yahoo joining the show. That's how it used to start. But we are without Fiona McKinnon. Uh, my, my Canadian sister, other than my actual sister, uh, she, she's not here. Um, we hope that she feels better very soon, but we've got the three of us and it's going to be a great show. I'm very excited. Um, and also for video viewers, we're all wearing the same shirt today. Bowza, we did it. We did it. We showed up on the, on the we, we, we use StreamYard here. Uh, we, we showed up on the video call. And, uh, and it, you kind of like lean back a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute, what, sh- what shirt is that? And then I lean back and I showed her. I'm like, look at that. We just That's happened crazy. to be wearing the same shirt today. Extra Life. Uh, was this from last year, Mitch? Yes. 2023. And then we, so we told Mitch to go change. So you're what's matching fu- now too. What's funny is I have like, the way my closet's organized, I have like, mm. a, 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 like a row of shirts. Right? Yes. And then I just grab one. Yes. And then I just go to the next one. And that's totally. how I put shirts on, right? Yeah. I don't like have them color coordinated. Like Is there another does. way? Oh, yeah. No, my wife's color coordinated, mm. uh, straps compared to shirts, compared to dresses. Like my wife's very, very good about that. But literally, this was right next to the shirt that I actually was wearing when I joined. As soon as I joined, I was like, oh, wait, I know where that shirt is because I just saw it today. So I ran upstairs real fast to get it because I don't so want to be saying, left out, you know. If you had spilled your lunch on your shirt, you might have already had this one <laughs> it would have been next that's true that's true yeah. yeah it would have been next yeah 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 or if we did the show tomorrow maybe if mm-hmm. because fiona was away we're like what if we did it on saturday then it would be your tomorrow shirt correct in correct. a way you're living in the future like you're in australia or something almost like that right almost kind of in closet time apparently i'm in the future maybe so. this is the official shirt of the xbox drive not an xbox drive shirt of course which you can get over at carpoolgaming.com which reminds me maybe we'll just jump right on into the uh the old housekeeping housekeeping guys exciting stuff is happening uh very before i get into all the usual stuff very insane news that we were able to announce on twitter earlier today um victor lucas from electric playground canadian legend like one of the original he ran a tv show across the nation and on g4 i think it was international Mm -hmm. um he is going to be at the calgary expo next weekend so um april 27th and he just like slid into your boys dms and is like do you want to join me and interview me during this panel i was like I have no idea what to say. I'm terrified. That's insane, dude. It That's is like crazy. Wild. Yeah. Like, how, okay. You've had previous interactions with him, though. Yes. Yes. He's okay. been on We the Gamer Cast. Uh, actually, I was reaching out to him a couple weeks ago to um, record a little something, something for Carpool. And then nothing, you know, he's a busy man. And all of a sudden, this happens. So, so I, I see how it is. When you hit him up for something, Ghost. right yeah when he hits you up <laughs> yeah you, you, you do a yes, backflip in place <laughs> and immediately say yes got it well everybody gets one everybody gets I, okay one. got it mm-hmm. got it okay yeah god i can't even i can't even pretend to be like a jerk face about that because it's like 
this is literally i'm totally geeking out here i'm gonna have to like put it pull it together for the for the, the show next week it's a total it's literally a dream come true like chelsea and i used to sit on our couch watch ep daily or reviews on the run and just wish like wouldn't it be amazing to do something with this team with this group it's a huge reason why i do this because i listened to one of his podcasts um in vic's basement and he gave one of those classic almost kevin smith style responses to everybody's questions how do i get into games media and he'd say like just do this like get started do the thing and i listened to that on a drive oddly enough on a drive to calgary and i'm like he's talking to me I've got to get started on this stuff. And so I ended up, I spent the whole night in my hotel room that night. Like I had a blog all in fun and games. Like that's where all of this started. So completely full circle. I don't need to geek out about it anymore. Cause I, it's very exciting. I'll try to keep it cool, but like friggin' shout out to Victor Lucas, man, making dreams that's come true. Awesome. Wild well, dude. Very well crazy. deserved. He was it's, talking to you through a podcast and then here soon, he'll be talking to you in person. Face. Yeah. Like, I, like I'm sure he smells great. That's a weird thing to say, but well, I, I plan, I plan on saying it on stage, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then blocked on, on Twitter. And then yeah, never man. again. Yeah. I get my and one then. shot and I ask him, Could how do you, you smell so great? I imagined you would wow. smell great. You smell great. Uh, intrusive thoughts coming out. But, um, this is something like, you know, it's, it's one of the things that is great that I get to do this, but it, like without the community, none of this is possible. Like without people encouraging, um all along the way and just like continuously fueling all of us with belief that this is worth the endeavor and the energy and everything like that's so crazy so i just wanted to like while celebrating that just say thank you to everybody for all your belief in us all along the way it's very very cool uh so look out for that people are asking if it's going to be streamed i don't know i kind of mm. hope not because i'm so nervous about it so <laughs> kind of just hope that only the people in the room see that disaster fire but uh, so there, I, we have to get you a sound saying that he smells great. And I need to put that in the show as like a button. You smell Just, great. Like, you smell fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think Possibly Sean would say happen. the same thing about me though. If I met him in person, you know I bet saying? you smell good. Probably. I met Seth know. after like a, a, a long drive at extra life and he smelled great. Yeah. Even after a long drive. Yeah. His beard just like, yeah, mm. he's got it mm. locked down, man. Yeah. Maybe I, I mean, smell bad. Maybe that's it. Everybody else smells better in comparison. <laughs> How terrible of a realization would that be? Be like, like damn, everybody oh, smells good around me. And they're everybody's just, like, they just average. And like, that's no, the no, worry. This is what, this like is what about... just regular smells like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's about the hour 20 worry and extra life. Like, well, we're all in the same boat we, at that point. Are, are we get a little ripe here. We're all, in the, we're all in it together. <laughs> no, you got to get that. Let me go freshen layer. up. Yeah. You gotta get that oh, super layer gosh. prior to. No, you're good, man. So, so, awesome, so crazy. If the funny thing is I tweeted it earlier today. I'm like, maybe I don't have this right. Like, I felt like it's so <laughs> surreal. Like, maybe I shouldn't even tweet about it because I feel like I've got it wrong. Something is, something's wrong. So uh, look forward to that. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Um, and speaking of your wonderful support, uh, over at Patreon.com, it's been a busy week. And I want to thank Hopple for increasing your support. I want to thank Shane Erickson for joining the gold member tier. And our newest gold member, Devontae Johnson. Uh, who I still want to know, Devonte? Can we call you uh, Devonte Johnson? Can we say D Y? Like, let's what's the what's the deal here? We gotta reach out, slide into those DMs. Uh, so thank you everybody for your support at Patreon.com/slash Carpool Gaming. If uh, you'd like to support the show, if you want to be like one of these great people we shout out every week, go to Patreon.com/slash Carpool Gaming. Choose the tier that's right for you. And I think um I think that's that's my housekeeping. Just really cool stuff happening. Cool people signing up um so yeah how are you guys bowser what's up i'm doing pretty well today i only yeah. worked a half day nice Went and got a 90 minute full body massage damn came Winning. home ate dinner took a nap and now i'm here like mitch we're doing it wrong this is the life I, I, this is the way I, it should I, be yeah i don't know what naps are dog I don't. half day of work nap and a massage this is in one yep. day all in one day i'm trying to get that done in a year like that's like 2024 <laughs> new year's resolutions if that's i can a fit in a massage list that she knocked it out in one day <laughs> good lord i have like my next three massages booked already oh that's the way to do it good for you yeah. you got to keep it on the calendar take mm -hmm. care of yourself absolutely uh 
Yeah, I what worked today, image? but I didn't do a half day. Um, I came home. You know what I did do, though? I went to the office today, which is kind of like a half day because the drive time there, drive time back, all on the clock. Thanks, boss. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's nice when you just, you know, you get home and you're just like, oh, man, it's like crazy. It's already one o'clock. I'm off in two hours. Uh, and then when I got off work, uh, I, I made icons for my stream deck because that's the life i live that's what you do man because <laughs> i'm a because I'm, I'm a real big nerd i just want to make sure my stream deck looks really nice so yeah that that's what i did um because i'm ocd like that but no like it's been a good week it just it's over we get to play Aww. games yeah you know what i'm saying uh i'm not saying the, the good part week of the week is over i'm saying the oh week that's because <laughs> it sounded kind of like, sad yeah yeah, yeah. no no, no. The, the week is over we start to have fun we now. made it we made it another week we did it I, I don't have my button for we did it. I'll do that oh, next time. We did it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, we uh, have a, a my, my daughter's having a sleepover tonight. So she's gone. My she's son's gone. at work. My other daughter's upstairs in a room. My wife's over there somewhere. You know, everybody get her on the show. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. about What's that. she been playing? What's she been playing? Uh, work. <laughs> That's what she's been playing. <laughs> she's been playing that life simulator called work. Oh, no. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, and speaking of things that uh, actually, Sean, before you, uh, you already had uh, mentioned the amazing thing mm. that happened. What about the rest of the week? I've been off all week. Today was my one day of work this week and then back to the weekend, man. So that's great. It's you been were pretty off good all week. You are yep. one day. Got the yep. best news of your life. And now you have yep. a weekend. Yeah, it's been good. Oh, like, I'm happy. I'm a, I'm a happy boy. That's a pretty awesome week, dog. Like, I'm just saying. Like, pretty great. Yep. Yeah, had a good run yesterday. Work. When you only do one day when you've been off like over a week. And it's just, I'm just going to catch up on email, answer some Pretty questions. Much. That's your entire day. And then that's oh, it. weekend. Great. Weird. Yep. No, it feels great. Um, selling stuff on eBay that people are giving me a hard time about. I feel like people give me a hard time, but maybe I, I feel like this is my safe space. Actually. I feel like, I feel like I'm good here. Why would people give you a hard time about selling your stuff? I mean, you take your pick. It's I'm getting shot at from all angles, like whether I'm selling stuff that belongs to me or my wife or like, why do I have so many 3DSs? All these questioning my life choices, you know, I feel oh, under well. attack. Sean, I think I need to be your, uh, your, your anger voice. You yeah. Be I mean? the, like, the, like show up on my yeah. shoulder. Yo, mm -hmm. first off, anybody giving Sean any sort <laughs> of slack, mind your business. He bought mind it with your his business. Own, mind your business. He bought it with his own money. If That's he happens right. to sell it for literally five times that ds you told me was seven hundred yeah, it's up to 770 it's up to, it's up to 770 me, if i had then. a 700 dollars ds laying around guess what i'd do yeah i'd sell that thing and buy sell that sucker all sorts of stuff here all yeah. sorts of stuff Plus i already have all these controllers you know what i'm saying oh and you're making them pay shipping and shipping 75 dollars oh, yeah. for shipping <sighs> yeah are, i'm making money are on you shipping. Hand delivering it why is it 75 dollars <laughs> i'm making money on shipping, it if man. sean hand delivers it i'm just saying i'll, I'll hand deliver something to you in what november is, at, why actually is it is it because of canada is that why no it's way marked up it doesn't actually cost 75 dollars to ship it you get to, as a seller you can you can say like this is the package i'm going to ship it in this is how much it weighs and it will determine the price for you or sure. You can just say the buyer will pay a flat rate, and I've determined a flat rate because it seems like they're bidding of on it anyways. Seventy five, seventy five bucks. Mm -hmm. Yo, homie, that's insane. Now this is Canadian. <laughs> okay. These are all Canadian dollars, so seven seventy isn't seventy seventy U.S. But it's like it's. I'm happy with this, man. Yeah, I feel yeah. like this is good. This is good decision making by me. I mean, again, you're, I, I, who am I to judge? I have thirty seven controllers around. You have you so many controllers. I have so many crazy. controllers. Like, who am mm -hmm. I to judge? No, yeah. I, I, the only thing I'll say though, one thing I saw you sell that I could never get rid of mm. my Titanfall controller. I have the same one up there. It's up. I haven't sold it yet. It actually doesn't have any bids on it, but it's just, just right over there. It, I want to sell it. Cause I think it's worth something. Did you open it though? Nope. Every, all these, I, this is the other see. thing people make fun of me for over the years. Oh, I can't believe you leave all your stuff in the box and let them out and breathe and whatever. Well, guess who's laughing now A $770 sure. 3ds that I'm selling. And guess what? My yarn poochie up there. The, it's worth like two hundred dollars on eBay. It's your next, Poochie. Don't get too comfy up there, you dusty son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I I have some. So okay, I I won't. There's certain things that I've opened. Right, example. Mm -hmm. I opened my Spider-Man Two controller. Like yep. I had to. I had to. Now, do I consistently play with it? No. I opened yep. it. I was like, this Ooh. is awesome. I actually yep. played Spider-Man with it. I put it away. Titanfall, same thing. I got the Titanfall controller. That's an awesome Forza controller. My Forza yeah. controller. That's what exactly. What I, like this is something I wanted out of the box. Mm -hmm. 
but not to play with. I should dust right. it though. But there are some items that I bought and later was like, I can't open this. Like yeah. I, I actually like mine, my prize possession that I have is a limited edition Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 that was only on the Square store that I bought for like 150 and sealed now is worth like $500. Mm-hmm. But that's like my baby and yep. I don't plan to get rid of that thing. But like most everything else that I have, like the Xbox 20th anniversary controller. Yep. Um, all my gears controllers, all my Halo mm-hmm. controllers. Um, those I all opened because I checked them out. I'm like, that's cool. But I didn't, I don't play with them on a regular basis at all. Like I kind of go back to the regular one, 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary, Halo 5. I have both Halo 5s. I have this, my wife currently uses the Sea of Thieves one. That's her like actual controller yeah. that she wanted just because it's funny. She doesn't even pay. There's your lock controller. Uh, what's funny is she doesn't even play Sea of Thieves. So she just really deep. loves Pirates of the Caribbean and was like, that yeah. looks like a cool controller. So I bought it for her. Um, but yeah, I, I opened them. I checked them out. But then I just kind of put them back on the shelf. I'm like, that's cool. And even yeah. open some of them are some. Eh, not really. I think the 20th anniversary one, I think, is decent rarity. Oh, you don't. Oh, rarity. I'm like, you yeah. don't like it? No, no, no. I actually really do like that controller. Also, the I want to say, is it glow in the dark? There's a spot. It's like Ooh, there's a like UV, a UV reactive stuff. UV reactive. That's what it is. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's uh, is it in the battery case? I'm trying to remember. No, in the battery case is Uncle Phil's signature, though. That's true. I'm trying to remember where. Oh, is it just? It's um, just on know. the face, I think. And then on the box? I think there's a little 20th logo here. The box up itself, in Blacklight. that's what it is. If you yeah. if you hit the box, it actually does change the image on the box. What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I remember so there was. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did a picture of it somewhere. Yeah. No, like the 20th anniversary. I wish they did a console. That would have been cool. Because Sony did that with the... Um, I, by the way, one of the cooler, I, I always uh, crap on Sony for their limited edition consoles because they're trash. They are um, not good. They're not good. They never have been good. Mm-hmm. Sorry. There's been like, I have oh, the Spider-Man. I tried that. The Spider-Man one was play. Okay, hold on. The this Spider-Man probably- PS4 mm-hmm. was awesome. Right the red Spider-Man PS4 was awesome. Again, I'm just a big Spider-Man fan, so that's why I like it's it right so here. much. It's getting ready to say. This oh my God, well. that thing is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, as far as like a PS4 Pro, like this is ridiculous. Like the triple burger, the thing that they did here, like this is. It, it looks like the looks button like the on, your, on your Xbox Yeah, controller. it's the start button. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's a hamburger um, menu. No, I, I'm cool. partial though, because I love Spider-Man to death. That thing is friggin' gorgeous. The one though that I really liked that Sony did was the, uh, was it 30, 30th anniversary one? The, the actual oh, the like, original? No, 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 I think it was the 25 one. Yeah, like the gray OG yeah. look. PS1. PS1. That one was sick. That one mm-hmm. was awesome. Also, appreciate them making it hella limited edition. Good Dude. for you. What they do, like, like a thousand of them or something? Like it was so limited. You're it right. was really limited. I know yeah. that. Um, but I do appreciate them for doing that. But other limited editions are trash. That Uncharted one, that Batman one. Yep. The Call of Duty. Uh, God, the God of War one's noises, pretty good. Dude. God of War's one's pretty good. Mm, it's okay i like that one uh okay. now i mean far be it for us to make fun of all the playstations limited editions that aren't very good uh, sure. there's not really any xboxes like um not this gen well no this gen they only have one right the halo one that's it the halo one that's right that, yep that's yeah. it official from microsoft minus that uh yeah that you could buy not the that you could buy ones. not win right they had uh, that the dumb SpongeBob. spongebob one. Right, the one dude. That's the, the thing. The green all one? the good ones. Yes, the green SpongeBob. Of course, <laughs> they're all these prizes. They're all the like. Let us buy the SpongeBob. Them. You could buy. Yeah. So the SpongeBob that I actually made fun, the one I referred to when I brought mm-hmm. up green SpongeBob, was actually a limited edition Best Buy only purchase in the states, yeah. and mm. it was eight hundred dollars for zero reason whatsoever. <laughs> well, I mean, it did have a controller in a game, right? It's not eight hundred dollars worth, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, it wasn't just yeah. the console. But it was it was the console which comes with the controller and the game, and the game was yeah. sixty bucks. If you want to make it special, make it six hundred bucks. Why am I paying eight, seven or eight hundred dollars yeah. for this thing? SpongeBob it's people love SpongeBob. Not that much. Um, now, if it didn't make SpongeBob noises, we never confirmed that. Mm. That would have actually been pretty cool, but it would have got real old real fast. I don't like any of the noises. Button. I've got this Gears Five one, the Xbox like One any X. Of the noises. I don't like any of the. No- I shut them off. I shut them all off. Wow. Yeah, because this thing made a Gears noise when it fired up, and I turned it off. The Starfield Speaking- headset has like spaceship no- noises when you turn it on and stuff. Generic space noises. 
the Starfield. Starfield headset. Really? Yeah. That's kind of any sense. Uh-huh. Here's see. Here's the thing. I'll say the Gears Four one was the most egregious, most annoying noise I've ever heard in my life. It was the yeah. sound of that like the new chainsaw monster. bayonet. Oh, no, no, no. the monster that shoots the spikes out of its tail. That ah, like oh, that brutal. howl it made. That brutal. was the noise, and I'm like, who the hell thinks this is a good idea? Somebody approved um, that. Somebody approved yeah. that. Um, still to this day, the best uh, Xbox is, and this is again preferential for me. Uh, the R two D two Xbox. Come on, dude. The three sixty Xbox. It looked. It looked cool. A friend of mine had it. It made R two D two noises. Yeah, and it, it came with a C three PO controller. And it doesn't it seem slick, real, dude. It, it like I saw it for the first time. Like I can't believe that's a real thing. Like they really yeah. made that. They really sold that to people. Yeah, with a connect. Crazy, right? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah, that was the Star Wars Connect bundle. Remember that oh with a white connect. I actually didn't yeah. know it came with a connect. Yeah, it was it was the the bundle the tie in game with that was Star Wars Connect, and that's why that oh, was a wow. thing. What a time! Yep, what a time! I've never I never like got upset with any of the consoles. I, I actually preferred the Xbox consoles because I felt like they tried harder. The Minecraft Series S is awesome. Mm. That thing's great. Um, I don't remember seeing that. What the the what? Minecraft Series S? Pull that up. Yeah, let's look at this. It is it is very cool looking. It fits so well with the game. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones. Um, that one was just a. Uh, it was in the same time when the the creeper and pig controller came out. Um, the the two Minecraft controllers that came out. It's the same thing. Uh, yes, that. I don't remember this at all. That looks great. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, and then oh, this is the, the one under- S. This is the one S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the underneath. It has like the uh the yeah. How slick is that? What is that called? It's all lava y and stuff. I can't that's remember. What that's that's redstone. There you go. There it is. On it. Neat. But no, I thought that console was great. Yeah, that's it worked neat. well. Yeah. But uh that thing is uh better than any PlayStation one minus the Spider Man one. Spider Man one's like, just beautiful. You know what is I had pre ordered? I had pre ordered the Death Stranding PS4 and I cancelled it. What a mistake. I had That would have been uh, worth something. I had the Spider-Man 4 PS4 Pro pre-ordered and then I canceled it because I was just Did like, you really? I really did, yeah. I wanted it really badly, but then I thought about it like after like cuz I I only played my PlayStation for the single player stuff and I'm just like after Spider-Man like what am I actually going to care to play on this PS4 Pro instead of just waiting for a PS5? Cuz I held the OG PS4. I never upgraded to the Pro or anything or even the Slim. I had the OG PS4. And then I got the OG PS5. And even if they come out with a Pro, which is rumored and all that stuff, that's fine. Yeah. That I'm works. pretty sure that thing has a, has, I'm, I've got the, for audio listeners, I pulled up my, my Spidey console here. And I'm pretty sure that thing has PT on it. My which, you know, is one of those on things. Mm-hmm. I People told like my son, thing. I, I let my son use my PS4 upstairs when I got my PS5. And I warned him explicitly mm. and with pure violence. If you oh, get wow. rid of this. We will have problems. Mitch, we're on I the explain. internet. I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I truly don't care. No, I told He's him flat out, to being an adult, right? Yeah, close he is an adult. Enough. He's 18. Yeah, we can see? fist fight. Fine. We can fist fight. Um, but no, I literally told him, like, please. I explained to him why it's really important. I'm like, please don't get rid of it. Um, but he's actually a big Death Stranding fan. So I told him it was a Kojima nice. thing and never to get rid of it. And he's like, yeah, understood. Dead. Roger yep. that. Yep. And people give me a hard time for selling my stuff. Bowser, have you yeah. been playing any video games this week? Well, I have to play video games because I don't have cool stuff to sell or not sell. Yeah. Well, I'm not to. <laughs> All I got is them video games. Right. All digital. No physical boxes laying about. No so I ain't mm. got no physicals. No. Um, a lot of the usual suspects. Final Fantasy mm-hmm. 14, Forza Horizon 4. Nice. Um... I tried out a bit of Harold Halibut. Oh, yeah. It's that claymation thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little slow. Okay. So I'm not I'm not too far into it yet, but we'll see. I haven't given pretty? up on it yet. Is it, uh, it's weird. Like the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the the characters are like, I don't I don't even know how to describe it. It's like you got a bad doll. <laughs> You got a cheap doll? Like, they're, like, kind of ugly. I don't know. Some of them aren't great. I mean, that dude looks like he's, like, right off the cover of GQ, right? Like, that guy looks... (laughs) Yeah. He looks like a well-adjusted citizen. But in general, it's a neat concept. 
And there seems to be a story building up, so I'm still in for it. We will see how far we go. This game just came out. I don't know if there's like a how long to beat on it. Like that would play into my decision whether or not to jump in based on yeah. your early comments here. Because it is on I the mean, list. It's on the whiteboard. It's on Game Pass, so it's on Game no Pass. harm in trying it. So that's what I did. 10 hours long. But, yeah. It's 10 hours? 10 hours. I could probably make it through that. Deep. 10 hours not too bad that's actually yeah. longer than what i thought you were gonna say yeah i actually i, I wouldn't ex to be honest with these types of games and how much work they have to put into because they're really hand doing everything i really didn't expect the game to be i actually right. thought 10 hours was long i'm like that's what i'm saying that's kind of crazy it's 10 hours long yep so we'll see and it's on game pass who cares exactly give it a try that's what we do here absolutely okay um, harold halibut okay that's that kind of takes me down i was pretty hot in this game when we checked I mean, it out hey, last week we'll see I did not crawl through an air vent like that guy was doing there yet. So, okay. Still lots to I'm see. Still pretty early in. Right. Okay. There's time to decide. Uh, I also tried out the cat quest three demo on switch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I played a bit of cat quest two. I didn't finish it. It's neat. This feels like more cat quest, which is fine. So I've never played cat quest actually. Yeah. It's fine. It almost sounded like you just meowed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks gorgeous yeah. actually yeah it's pretty cute you just run around smacking things around throwing magic and hitting them with your sword there are little dungeons you go down into and fight enemies and pick up treasure i don't know maybe this could be like baby's first diablo type oh, okay all, all I have but they added like with a lot of things there was a couple in the nintendo indie world that ship combat is a big selling point at the moment so it looks so fun. It's, it's reminding me of something. I, I can't quite place it. Like the way those ships are turning and firing each other. It's like, I've, I've played that before. And it, there's a nostalgia hit that I, I can't quite place, which maybe is kind of yeah. like the best case for game designs. When something reminds you something that you love, but you don't know exactly what it is. So it doesn't look like a copy kind of yeah. thing. Mm. Yeah. How many of those Nintendo Indie World, which I did not watch that uh, conference, how many of those ended up being announced for Game Pass? By the oh, way? that's a good, that's a great question, actually. Maybe I can dig some up uh, part with that the up. show. I That'd be really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because one is coming to Game Pass. There's one that was really, uh, had a lot of people very excited. Uh, that's uh, actually well, coming we'll to Game Pass. Well, we'll get there, because there's one okay. that's coming out soon. Um, the other thing I was playing from that Indie World is Stitch. So it's like a mild puzzle game, but very chill, very satisfying that you're doing like embroidery, a little bit of a numbers puzzle. You know, there'll be a number nine and you have to put that number nine within nine blocks. Mm. So was yeah. this on Xbox? No, this is on Switch. This is just on Switch. OK, I think it was on Apple Arcade for a while. So Man, I always forget about Apple Arcade. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't have an iPhone, so mm, me neither. Smart but but yeah, super iPhone. chill game. Very similar to a little to the left, which I've been okay. doing the daily tidy on that every day, trying to get through some of those chivos. I think mm. that is mostly it for stuff I've been playing. Nice. What have you been up to, Mitch? Um, kind of the same old, same old. Um, Apex, although Apex continues, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Apex continues to be broken. They just uh the other day, um person i watch did she all of a sudden she had a skin like her favorite skin for a character that all of a sudden changed like just out of nowhere the skin she bought was a completely different skin and she's like i don't know why my skin looks like that now later find out that was an unreleased skin that got glitched so apparently there's a bunch of unreleased skins that got glitched that people were all of a sudden receiving that didn't buy them um so i don't know what is going happen? on over there i don't know i really don't know but like it's not like it's a brand new game like they've been doing this for a long time right it's very strange what's happening um i don't get it but um they announced um octane's prestige skin which is like a shark thing shark themed skin which is kind of cool looking uh they tease the new legend so i mean like every uh, close to when the next season comes out they start teasing like in-game updates new characters that are happening so there's some cool stuff that's happening in the game but it it's just weird i mean i logged in and it told me i didn't own the battle pass and in order for me to buy it it cost ten thousand coins and i'm like hey dude no how about figure this out please so it's just weird i don't know why apex is having updates and freaking out uh call of duty had their stoner update which is just annoying um they had literally a sloth character who just had weed all over the place uh he looked high uh, that's Cheech what i thought chong. you meant yeah, yeah yeah i totally meant that cheech and chong 
Four twenty. Yes. What? Are no way. Unlockable characters in Call of Duty right now. Uh, one of their finishers is him blowing weed smoke in your face and you die. Come on, really? <clears throat> I wish I was lying to you. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Like I get it. I get it. Right. I'm not crapping on anybody who does that. Totally get it. But yeah, like, dude, do we need what? to like? I will crap on you if you blow the smoke in my face. face. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do we need to like make that a death. <laughs> like, no, we don't. Um, but no, Call of Duty. Oh, that's uh, funny. Rebirth Island map changes are fun. Um, I also, I ha- you know, what sucks. I actually haven't played Hell Divers two since we played Sean. I know. And same. That kind of yeah, bummed same. me out. Um, not saying I'm not opposed to playing it more, but my buddies are kind of at that. I I'm new to the game, so I'm yeah. like yay let's play and all my buddies are like homie i've been grinding the hell out of that game yeah i'm kind of good i knew this was gonna happen so we just mm-hmm. have no, to no, play no, together no no no, no, yeah. no. we're That's... gonna play yeah yeah, yeah. and I, I even my some of my other buddies i told them hey are you down to play and they said yes but yeah like buzz who i usually play a lot of games with on the weekends he's kind of like he said the xp grind felt just like really grindy and i he could wasn't see it as much of a fan but also he's played the game a lot more than i have so he's a lot more stuff unlocked um but even though I haven't been playing Helldivers, I played more Hogwarts Legacy, which is awesome. It's yeah. so good. It's definitely getting me into that mode of finally starting to get all the different spells. Like, oh, this mission gets you this spell. This gets you the, and it's like all starting to click. I, I love that. Upgrade, I did an upgrade to my broom to where I can now fa- you know travel faster in the world. Yes, um, a lot. It, it's the good thing I like about those types of games, and the same company, which I want to say, I don't think it was the same exact company, but like shadow of war shadow of mordor yep. and shadow of war which we talked about last week had the same thing where i felt totally like as you play the game nothing ever gets to the point where you've like capped out your character and you can't get more and yeah. so far i'm playing and i'm still learning new stuff and there's still new things and yeah. they're still and i'm like this is cool like this so far mm. is still super fun um i think i'm on part 12 or 13 uh so roughly i've played 13 to 14 hours of the game um and I'm still having a lot of fun. I don't know how far I am necessarily. Yeah. I, I want to say it's probably a 30 hour ish game. Um, I really do want to play it though to get done with it by Hellblade time. Because yeah. I yeah, really Hellblade's coming, it. man. It's yeah. really coming like here in like a month. And I really need to. I don't want to say I don't want to rush through Hogwarts, right? Yeah. I do want to enjoy yeah. it, but I also don't feel I'm going to be able to 100% that game at all by the time yeah. Hellblade comes out. I mean, I'll probably I still beat it. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably beat the game. Uh, but then I have to still play Hellblade 1 because I haven't played that before. Yeah, that's um, not super so yeah, long. So you it's not time. super long. So yeah, if I, I with how I've been playing games during the week, what, two yeah. weeks? Like two, like I usually play four hours ish a week of single player stuff because I make myself do it. I love it. I know. And you've got this whole thing like mapped out. You're like, you know oh, how much. So you but can see. Mm hmm. Yeah, you no, I have FOMO to. when the boys are playing Call of Duty or Apex. But... Oh, I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> like yesterday, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to play Hogwarts. And I looked in Discord and I saw Al and Buzz and Dame playing COD. And I was like, oh, man, we could run quads on Rebirth right now. No, I Mitch. love that. No, I love that you, that you still get that. You play all the time. It's not like this is like like the stars are aligning and people are playing this game. It's like you play this with these people all the time and you still I... get the, the FOMO yeah because it's just again it. like the, the thing is like i've been playing those games with the like buzz for example i've known buzz for 15 years yeah and like we played games we played Ge- like that was the the dude i played gears one two and three with mm-hmm. when Mo- modern warfare became a thing we played call of duty like yeah that's a dude that like when it comes to multiplayer stuff i play games with him and call of duty is the game that got me back playing with him because when the whole xbox ps4 thing happened he went ps4 I went Xbox. Mm. So I actually didn't play games with him for years because we just couldn't. Yeah. And then when Warzone happened, Star Cross like, Lovers. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm like, hey Buzz, <laughs> Warzone's crossplay. Are you playing Warzone? He's like, Yes. And that's as soon as that clicked, we started playing again. And no, dude, I look in Discord and I see, you know, see him on, and I'm like, Oh, oh that's I love that. I, that's so cool, man. Him. It's super that's fun. So cool. Super fun. <laughs> yeah, everybody has those friends that they play games with, and no matter what, it's a blast it's always fun 
No, I I don't anymore. Yeah. Like that's why I'm, oh, <laughs> everybody oh. doesn't have that. Like that's why I'm just friends. Like, that, that sounds nice. <laughs> I gotta go to extra life and trap everybody in a room with I me know. for twenty four <laughs> hours to play games. Here, nobody's leaving. It's for I, the kids. Then I guess Mario I'm Kart fortunate enough. Kids. I am I am fortunate <laughs> enough to have a core group of friends that are. We're all in the same thing though. We're all dads. We don't go out. We don't go to the club. We don't drink. We we just stay home and play games and. You know, let our children run amok in our homes while we uh, engage in combat on Call of Duty. So I love it. Yeah, but those those are every weekend. They're always there. That's the best. Yeah, let's play. Let's go. Dang. Yep. Well, Hell Divers, I think I can roll with you on. Like I, I can't keep up with Apex and Call of Duty. It's like you're too. You're so fluid. Like I see how you play. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna be 14 steps behind. But Hell Divers, I Hell think Divers we can. Is- awesome, dude. It's so it's fun. So fun. Yeah. And you're right. The only thing that would make that game I better think- is more people. Yes, I think the nice part about Hell Divers is, from what I've seen, while you're in a mission, you're not like getting a bunch of loot and having to make a decision like, is this a better right. gun or do I yeah. have to add the scope? Whereas things like Apex and Call of Duty, you're always looting boxes and trying to figure out the best gear for you. Mm. Right, and that's I get decision paralysis on that because I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played it enough, right? And like, what right. does this even mean? How do I attach the scope? What that's is going on? Mm-hmm. Though they're a bit sure. more. Comp- I will say that's one nice thing about Fortnite is there's less of that. Like you get well, a gun. For a while there, there wasn't even that option. Like there yeah. was like, for a long here's time. a gun. Have fun. Yeah. Now it's like you actually can swap out attachments, which is kind of nuts. But you have to go to a workbench. Right. You have to like so. actually go try to do it, which. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess that's, that's I do cool. it when there's a know. quest telling me to do it, but that's sure. about it. Helldivers, like, yeah, like, uh, I do appreciate the fact that it's just here's your gun, here's your loadout, enjoy it. Like, the other, the only thing you have to go find are, you know, the loot that's in the game itself, right? Um, but that doesn't improve your actual situation as far as combat goes. That's just bringing stuff back home to get better stuff. Um, yep. the combat, I mean, we could awesome do a whole so podcast far. on that, yeah, absolutely. All these games were. I don't know. You need a master's degree to figure out what to do. Believe me. Yeah. I, start I think the, game. Of, the worst out of all of them is Call of Duty, in my opinion, because yeah. like Call of Duty, uh, unfortunately, is a game where you actually if you don't play it enough to grind and get guns leveled up, you are behind yeah. or you can give Call of Duty money and they'll give you a blueprint that has a good scope and a, a barrel attachment yeah. and all that stuff. So that's the one that I feel the most bad about. Um, Apex is cool because all the guns are the same. A 301 is a 301. It doesn't matter. There's no better version of it because you've used that gun for a thousand hours. Like this is the same gun and it's just about gunplay. But and same thing with Fortnite, right? Fortnite's the same yep. thing. Like this green AR on the ground and this one are the same. Whoever shoots better is going to win. So yep. I appreciate those for that. Um, but no, Helldivers, dude. It You find a gun you like and just go with it. I like that that DMR style like single shot gun we were using, Sean. That thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. We this week went by fast. Like, I kept thinking, like, okay, today's the day you're going to jump into this or that. And all of a sudden, we're here. I guess that's yeah. just always the case. But Helldivers is, it's hot right now, man. And we're all, we've all got it. We've all played together. It's super fun. No excuses. You know what I mean? There was some article that came out, and I'm trying to, I don't want to misquote it, about bugs. Uh, they were saying, like, they were trying to have so many, like, bugs be dead by a certain amount of time. And then the community did it in 24 hours. Um, oh, I love it. Like they were like, uh, yeah, it took yeah, right here. It says uh, it took Helldiver players less than 24 hours to kill 2 billion bugs. <laughs> 2 billion. billion. So they put out a thing. Two, yeah, they literally put out a tweet that says, uh, you know, we need to try to kill 2 billion bugs uh, and you have so much time to do it. And they li- oh, it was a week to do it. And they did it in 24 hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone miscalculated. That is. But no, that's also a testament to that community. Like. Oh, you want us to kill bugs? I guarantee you everybody left Robot Planet and went straight to Bug Planet and just started yeah. killing everything. I and that's that. a, a testament to just how awesome, how much your community loves your game that they want to like, you give us a challenge like that. Especially, I love those community challenges. Everybody do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not yeah. just you and your squad. The world. The world. <laughs> the world. Okay, let's go. I like it. It's awesome. I'm trying to think, there's got it. There's another game that that has done that before. I'm blanking on it though. I Metal love Gear that 5. idea. Oh, is that that might be what I'm thinking? Metal of. Gear Five yes. with the nukes. That's what yes. It was. Oh, that's so. And funny. they saved all the nukes on PlayStation th- three, I think. Uh, it was three or four. Like they actually lib- like 
they Halo disarmed before. every nuke in the in that yeah. like ps3 version of the game or something like that or ps4 version um but yeah it was metal gear they had like nukes that you had to like disarm and take care of and there was, like, i'm here for that kind that. of thing man like i feel I like <laughs> i feel like the last person to discover the majesty of like things like mmorpgs like where it's just everybody's doing the thing this has been around for decades and i'm like that's cool and we all do it together it's like no kidding <laughs> like blizzard <laughs> solved for this decades ago and yeah, took over people's a lives game called final fantasy 14 exactly yeah exactly <laughs> exactly i like it though when it's in smaller doses though right where it's just like four people you know, like us as a squad, right? Not necessarily running into right. Like you don't have to be on a server people. with all these other people, but yeah, right. like it's still just contributes. all of us doing a community thing. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Think yeah, that's man. Great. Yeah, like it, I know, like people are probably screaming, like, "Yeah, this has been around forever." But to to me, it's new and novel and exciting. So whatever, man. It's it's kind of neat. I like it. Maybe yeah. in PC games, it was more more out there. But the only one I remember on console was Metal Gear Five. Yeah, disarming nukes. I feel like this has happened though more recently. Yeah. Maybe. this community challenge maybe diablo diablo comes to mind too yeah i, I yeah. know if we got anything for stats. doing it right diablo has talked about stats of like the world yeah. has killed two billion demons right like, i don't want story. to not for the sake of like a marketing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. jpeg no, yeah but i've seen this before yeah this and it wasn't metal gear that i'm thinking of it was more recent like yeah. I kind of want stuff like that with and and we talked about this before too with like give me more of that Kojima like like do a little spy work on me like you should know like know who I am and put it in the game kind of thing like freak me out a little bit um Eternal Darkness is a classic game cute example where like it made you think that it was deleting your save game or like the volume was turning up and down on its own like I don't know like like do something with the tech that isn't pixels related on on PC that's more of a thing like some of those yeah. like horror yeah. games, for example, when they hear your voice and like oh, good call, yeah. yeah what yeah. is that? So th um, phantasma. What is that? Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I'm all so Fantasia. Like, more. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Mickey hears you. Mickey. He's always Mickey listening. Mouse. Mm -hmm. He's just kind of creepy. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but no, like th there are. I think more games on Steam take that risk because it is like yeah, it's easier Risky. to publish there, and you can just throw it out there, and hopefully a content. But it makes more it. sense to like. I'm going to delete all the files on your computer. Okay, go ahead. It's my PlayStation or my Xbox. Right. right. Go nuts. I mean, <laughs> that, it doesn't hit the same. That's why I appreciate, like, Eternal Darkness was never on any other console. It was yeah. just on GameCube. So they really took advantage of, like, messing with your head with that GameCube stuff, right? Yeah. Like, that was a uh, trippy game. So cool. Like, what if you could pretend to, like, turn off your console? Like, yeah. what if it somehow, like, turned the light off? Like, it, like the screen went black and it like, turned off the light on your Xbox or something like that. What like, stuff like that. Your, what if it turned your Xbox light red, like Red Ring of Death? That, totally, like... yeah, because can't they do that? <laughs> like, isn't there a... Didn't people discover that you can change the color on your controller or something like that? Or maybe it was just yes. the Elite controllers? Like, there's a... It, it's, it's possible. That'd that be crazy. Was my favorite, that was my favorite thing, because, like, Steam kind of, like, showed that. So like Steam yeah. was the one where like all of a sudden they were like, oh, by the way, you could change that. And people were like, huh? Like, what do you mean I could change this? And then Microsoft's totally. like, oh, hey, we're going to do a controller update. We'll let you change it now. Like, why the hell couldn't we do this from the beginning? Like, oh, why man. did you tell us this button did this? It's um, like the switch, like unlocking Bluetooth audio, like five years into it. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> this has been here the whole time? Like, yeah, you made me wear headsets, you nonsense. Unbelievable, dude. That's hilarious. Hardware oh. random upgrades would yeah. piss me off to no end. Be like, hold on a second. Like You're in the moment, I'm right with you. Time. They totally put, but now I'm laughing about it. Like more, please. Like what are the surprises are lurking underneath these things? <laughs> Joy cons that don't get stick drift. What if they did an update and they were like, by the way, you don't get stick fixed drift it. anymore? Oh yeah, my fixed God, it. that'd be crazy. <laughs> I'd be pissed. It's a software. Like, yeah, yeah. Stability it's a firmware. Update. Yeah, exactly. Right. Stability. stability <laughs> updates. Go Literally. to hell when you put stability <laughs> updates in your ta in your patch notes. I get so pissed off with that. What'd you do? Oh, stability oh upgrades. Gosh. Shut up. <laughs> That's so God. good. I still wait for if I, I I have an Xbox Elite controller. I love it to death. Uh, uh Xbox Elite Three. Hey, Phil, nice. how you doing? Mitch Prowler hey. here from the Xbox Drive. I just want to tell you, if you could put Hall Effect joysticks in the Elite 3, I would love you to no end. Yeah. Just saying. Sean has a confused also, face right now. Better. He doesn't know what the hell that is. You guys both know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Bowser, what were you going to say? What, what's your addition to Phil? Oh, you just got to have the haptics, like the DualSense. Yes. I'd be okay give it to me. 
absolutely. Okay. Here's the thing. I'd be okay if it didn't have that. If I'm uh, paying hundreds of dollars for a controller and it doesn't have that, y'all need to start over. Okay. Fair. You see these forearms? These forearms are little. These are tiny little forearms. I can't be squeezing my controller any more than I am. That's no, the difference. That's, that's, <laughs> that's different. That's the... I don't know what the hell they're called. Adaptive triggers. Yeah, I don't want I that. Want, I, I want, want I want a few raindrops in my controller. Yeah. That's what I want. Oh. To answer your question, Sean, Hall Effect joysticks are a different type of analog oh, yeah. stick that use magnets that never get stick drift ever. It, yeah. It's impossible because of the way they're designed for those controllers to ever get stick drift. It's like a monorail. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a different <laughs> yes, type of controller. Kind of. And there are some third party controllers <laughs> is it really? just like that. Yeah, it kind of is actually. Yeah, like it's an idiot over here. <laughs> it's like yeah. a monorail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but no there are there's only one no no let me strike that the turtle beach elite controller has them Interesting. and i'm like real jealous i'm like i don't want to get rid of that i just want microsoft to like if all of pay two hundred dollars for a the big three all actually, of them would be fantastic next next gen next round release of controllers need to all have hall effect i i agree there's even like basic controllers for like switch and uh xbox that are like third party controllers. I think there's like a 40 or $50 Xbox controller that has Hall Effect joysticks. And I'm like, interesting. Yeah. Are they getting to the point where they are more cost effective? Because if so, please put them in Just everything. Put them in there. You know what? Because Charge me $5 more and make my joysticks done. not explode. I've had to swap out three or four elites because of stick drift. I wish I was mm. lying. Like, that's, I, and I, thankfully, it sucks I have to buy a warranty with it because I know it's going to happen over time because of the games I play. Yeah. But, it, it, I would just rather, I, even if you made the price 210, 220, I don't care. Just give me a controller that never gets stick drift again. I'd be the happiest man ever. Look at all the controllers yeah. I buy, guys. You I have so have many controllers. Have Everybody knows this about you. Yeah. 100%. Xbox, I don't think they can, like, they talked about this next console already just to tell everybody that they're still in the console business. They yeah. can't, unfortunately, I think, like, they're, they're, their hands are tied. They can't launch another console without some major improvement to the sort of standard controller. Like, and this has just been the story, sadly, for Xbox over the generations. Like, there's always one thing that, like, isn't really a huge deal, but the narrative creates it so that it's a massive deal. And for Xbox, this generation is like, oh, the menu is the same as the last console generation, so? and the controller is the same. And I agree with you, Mitch. Like, that's not so? a big deal to me. <laughs> but, like, people <laughs> made it a thing. huge deal. Yeah. They added a screenshot button. That made me happy. Yeah, that's totally. True. They added a random middle button. <laughs> just to those controllers yeah i i never i mean at the same time i'm not in my opinion particularly the elite 2 is my favorite controller ever that thing is a thing of beauty it yeah. just it fits perfect the weight is perfect it's got a ridiculous battery life it's yep. awesome it is yep. the best charging controller cradle ever had. charging cradle uh customization of it like it's the best controller yeah, the profile i've ever used um yeah but yeah no i wish i don't the haptic stuff i will say Somebody told me, I can't remember who, said if you plug in your dual sense in your PC, because I play with a controller like a regular person. Oh yeah. Point that out. <laughs> wasn't it Bowser who told you this? It was it was it you that told me? No. I feel like was it was it on you? a show. I feel like it, it was, was on it was, no, no no, I think it was I was streaming, I think maybe. And somebody said something like plug oh, your dual sense in and it'll yeah. have all the dual sense stuff. And I immediately grabbed my dusty dual sense right here, dusted it off, oh, plugged gross. it in, and it actually did have all the haptics, and I was like, Okay, okay. I, mm. I'm not upset with the haptic stuff. Like Bowser said, I'm not upset with it. However, in competitive shooters, no. Yes. I turn off all vibration. I I'm don't have anything you. when it comes to competitive mm -hmm. games. But guess what? I don't play on my PlayStation. Competitive games. So I play single player games and haptics on single player games is pretty cool. Hmm. I'll I'm say happy that. for you. I'm hap yeah. hap happy. Happy to. Hap 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 there, hap there have been hap games that I bought on PlayStation just because they had haptics. I mean, you're not alone on that. I don't agree with it, but like you're, I'm apparently in the minority on that. Xbox added vibration to the triggers. I remember that being an Xbox One feature because when yes. I did the Forza demo, yeah. yes, and I hit that break and I was like, "Why is just my trigger vibrating?" Yep, that's kind of crazy. And then Sony went nuts with it, so. I don't there like was a level in Halo Library. 5 where it did. Yeah. You're, you're walking around in a mech or something, and it was like mm -hmm. left foot, right foot, and it would shake each side. I thought that was, yeah. I thought that was neat. It's, mm. it's neat. It's, it's neat. neat. But yeah. Like, ever since I found that out, though, on the... I, I don't like the touchscreen, though, on that PS5 controller. The touchpad. I thought they nailed it with the... I mean, on this Xbox show, I'll say that I like the DualShock <laughs> 4 or whatever it was. 
Is that Dual Shock Four? Because Dual Sense is the only. Is it, anyway, yeah, yeah, who yeah. cares about that? Um, yeah. You can play anything else, Mitch. <laughs> 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 other other than the, those four things, no, no, I'll be okay. playing more this weekend. But yeah, what about you, Sean? What have you been playing? <laughs> uh, well, very quickly, I want to talk about a game that um, has this been talked again. quite a lot on this show, and others around Carpool Gaming. This is Lil Gator Game. Uh, I thought that this game was going to be. Um, I have to just say this first because it's going to impact what I actually think of the game. I thought this was going to pop achievements for me like crazy, and it didn't. <laughs> so between that and the fact that it doesn't have a map. Um, I'm out on Little Gator game. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. It just wants me to wander around. It is cute, and I really like the premise of this game, which is your older sister uh, is just too busy, too grown up. You want to get her to play. Yeah. Uh, So it's very cute. I'm sure a lot of people like it. I just thought this was going to be like a quick, the way the bows is set, it's going to be a quick thousand gamer score. I it got wasn't a thousand and four I hours. I mean, I'm not as good at games you as you want. are. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Apparently, you found like everything that's like breakable on the islands, like all these little things well, you mean, shoot at. At the end of the game, when you finish the story, that becomes easier. Oh, is it going to like point them out at least? Do you get a map at the end? You don't get a map, but. <sighs> What a cruel end game award. It's like, by the way, here's the map you've been begging yeah, for the last really four bad. hours. It's like, oh, you played the whole game. Now that you know everywhere on the islands, here's your map. <laughs> here's your map. <laughs> oh, so everywhere you've been. in my pocket this whole time. Yeah. This map, speaking of endings. There's a piece of bubblegum stuck to it. <laughs> oh my gosh dude, i'd be, be so pissed, funny dog i'd be so i would be like uninstalling it so fast oh <laughs> just rage gosh. uninstall that game what else, well Sean? and well that's something that somebody could probably do some psychoanalysis on for me because it's like i don't think i'm even able to talk about the game like really because i was so focused on achievements and i get so like hung up on some of these things that it's like it's probably a fine game for most people to try but it's just like i had like these one or two things i'm like i'm out i can't believe i wasted my time with this game back over to what is probably going to be my game of the year brotato love this game you guys i played this so much speaking of a game that isn't easy to to pop achievements on though um the one thing i want to tell you guys about this game this week because everybody knows this is basically like um vampire survivor cross with the binding of isaac i think is a good comparison that i've heard uh you get these different like styles of potatoes and the one that i played with this week explodes when he touches or when he gets touched um either somebody shoots something at you or you run into enemies he'll just explode and that's your weapon you don't get to equip like a gun or anything else you can just become stronger and like, get bit, get better armor and heal faster and all these other kind of classic power-ups within this game and i had a bl- literal blast with this one you just like run into a huge Pun group intent. of enemies and I'm just like exploding. I, I'm i here for it, man. Just That's gameplay. Awesome. Super fun. Uh, and then the last thing, I fired up Fallout 3 because Fallout Mania has taken grasp over, over everyone. I, I only got a couple hours into that, um, but I jumped into more excitedly to Fallout 76 with Fiona McKinnon earlier this week. And you guys, I haven't played Fallout 76 since it launched and I forgot completely how it was back then. It seems to me in a couple hours just playing, this is playing a good Fallout game that you can do that with friends. And I'm not sure what else I actually want in life. So just as long as your friends are on the same platform. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is where like it kind of it kind of falls apart uh, in a couple of ways. The game shows its age. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a good time with the game, but you're right. Um, cross play an issue as in it's non-existent cross save not a thing and that sucks Ooh. i'm playing my xbox pc app version of fallout 76 and i installed it on my series x for my lazy time on my old man recliner and my blankets and everything and i'm like all right let's start this up and then the intro starts and i'm like oh i, I guess it didn't sync my cloud save and then i looked online and it's not a thing and that does that is such a bummer. Um, because Fallout's everywhere right now. Everybody's talking about it. I I love it. The everything about um, the premise of Fallout, and I just I'm I'm glad that we can just enjoy it for what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of kind of bummed that I I'm not going to be able to switch back and forth. Um, it's not the end of the world because I don't hate being at my PC to play games. But every now and then you want to just sit down on a couch and you know 
play with a comfy console kind of thing. So One Fiona's in the chat says, Sean, we need to play more this weekend. We're, I'm down. Tomorrow, actually. Tonight. Right after this. Like any time. We gotta be playing Fallout 76. I think this could be my new this could be my new obsession. And I'm glad people are coming around on it, man. I I hate it when narratives get cast towards a game or a console and i love now it's like we're shattering that it seems because people are actually giving it a chance because of the show fun fact it, even though it's on game pass and we know that just want to throw it out there if you have twitch prime you actually can get the game full game for free that's insane so you can go get fall 76 pc or xbox version even and like it's an xbox code you can claim it even if game pass expires you can keep it forever so i don't know when this is going away but if you're listening to it live, yeah, you jump on it. Prime, just go grab the codes at least. You can redeem mm-hmm. them on Xboxes of site, have it forever. Um, you do get the PC um, Xbox version, like the actual, yeah, because you're redeeming it on the Xbox site. But I just want to throw that out there for anybody who is interested, Xbox or PC. Sorry, PlayStation people, Xbox and PC, uh, you get uh, codes there for free. That Twitch is a Prime. cross promotion that makes so much sense to me. That is amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, thank God. You know, and we're still waiting on, I think we're, it's next week for the Fallout 4 next gen yeah. update. So, like, that's kind of a bummer. It's not landing at the same time, but so much of this, they're doing right. And Fallout's just selling like crazy, all the Fallouts. It's, yeah, I love Season to see Season 2 it, got man. already approved. That's, that's a yeah. good thing. So yes. Good still haven't watched it, trying to watch it with my wife. I haven't found time together to sit on the couch and watch it's it. It's tough. It's tough to find wife. It is. Find time, not to find I, I can find my to wife find very time. easily. She's right over there. I know where my wife is. Thank you very much. Where is <laughs> she? Your wife today. Sounds where like is she? Sounds like uh, the plot no. of a Fallout movie or game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife went to work. Land. I was waiting for her to come watch TV and she didn't come back. That's oh, the plot man. of Fallout five, 6. 6 and 7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Split into two. Um, I need to spend a little bit more time with 76 to kind of get my head wrapped around how it works when it's like my host game versus if like I was joining Bowser or whatever. It It's not overly complicated, but there are some differences that kind of happen there um, that, that trip me up just a little bit. But Fiona's always so patient with stuff like that. Like she doesn't care if it's her game or someone else's. Like she's just there to play. Like with Helldivers, she's level like 73, Death Captain, whatever. And she's like, yeah, she'll play with us. And we're level five and six. And she's just very patient with that kind of thing. So does the game not like, so if you're in somebody else's game, does it not progress like your story and your game? Is that kind of what it is? Yeah, that's what, that's yeah. from what I can gather. I think it's, it's just yeah. the story stuff. Sure. It's all and these the online multiplayer where it's questionable how to handle that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no standard there. It seems. Mm-mm. Everything kind of does it a little bit. Like State of Decay is a, a classic example that I go back to. State of Decay 2, um, Stardew Valley now. You know, some of these things where like it's the host game and sometimes you're just kind of there along with it. Now, I will say like there's so many different ways to play 76 that I don't know if this is going to be a major hiccup for me. And it typically is. So I don't I don't know if that's going to be a major problem. So but yeah. we'll, we'll find out more more next week, perhaps. I was doing a little research into that grounded game. Now that it's oh, out yeah. all over the place, right? I'm thinking about setting up some community stuff. They have a, what do they call it? A shared world. Mm-hmm. And if you create it and you give other people permission, they can play it without you. On That's that how to do it. World. That's the answer. And it's, and it's, but it's not like, so like Minecraft has that concept, say. but you have to like pay yeah. for that world to be hosted on a server. Right. Whereas this one, like the cloud save is in the cloud, but like whoever signs in first is the host. Sure. So I don't have Let- to wait for Lockleth to be on to play Stardew, you know? Let oh, really? Like go up for him. Yeah, like if, she, if, if I created the grounded shared world and I invited you, gave you permission, you could play it without me. That's what I want. Yes. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's yeah. what LEGO so, Fortnite does. LEGO Fortnite is yeah. the exact and same thing. And that's because it's Fortnite and... Everything's okay, just there. always online. That's what we yeah. need. Fortnite sets the standard. They'll figure it out. Everybody just copy that. We don't need any other iterations on this. I think the only thing that had this is first. the Minecraft one is... It sounds only, good to the, me. The Minecraft one is the bummer because, like, that one, it'd be better, obviously, if it was free for you to be able to just, like, share it between platforms as well because that's the other thing, too. Like, if you want to play that world on other platforms, then you right. have to, like, pay for their thing, and that's where I'm, like... That's just a cool. legacy thing. That's just, yeah, like... Yeah, that's true, yeah. Cause it's old and they established that like at a time when that kind of made sense to people. Like yeah. it wasn't offensive. Right. 
you know, to charge for that G sort of thing. If GTA 6 is not cross-platform, though, and cloud save, I'm going to be pretty bummed out. It sounds like something PlayStation would pay for, but we're not here for that kind of no, garbage commentary. No, I really, yeah. I really want... Like, that's the thing about me about From GTA, because I got the PC version when it was on free on the Epic Store. Yeah. And I was like, I want to play it. And, like, at the time, they didn't have the Series X update for GTA 5. And yeah. I was like, I'm playing it in 4K. It looks gorgeous. And then I'm like, cool, let me go online. Nope. Mm. And I'm like that sucks like my xbox character is my xbox character forever and i just hope gta 6 when that comes out they i i assume rockstar just because they want people to buy the game already and pay more money online i hope yes. they would do it but they also they're rockstar and if they said no we're not they're rockstar they Everyone's say how it's gonna buy the they game tell you go yeah. to hell and you'd be like okay where where do i go man <laughs> grounded though i could i could see myself getting it grounded too dang yeah, I like that. And they game. just had an update as well. So, yeah, what is it? It's like a crazy name on it too. It's what like fully is... yoked. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> it's so good. I, unfortunately, I had a bad experience with Grounded that gave me a bad taste in my mouth. That mm. was also when it was in beta. But that's oh, that's, that's the problem. Uh -huh. Yep, that's the problem. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem like, with all that. That is game yeah. preview, beta, early access, whatever I, you want to call it. So yeah, that's burned me in the, the past spot. for sure. Mm -hmm. I go back to my spot to go get my stuff it's not there i'm like i'm not reading I'm all that loot i'm yeah. out have a good day <laughs> that's yeah. all it took and i'm totally. like i'm sure it's not like that anymore but guess what every time i think of grounded i think of that time i got real pissed off and i'm like i get I'm it i'm good totally yeah. get it totally understandable nice well that's what i've been playing just trying to get around to a bunch of stuff and land on something i need like a countdown for hell hellblade 2 though because that thing's gonna like show up one of these days i, I mean you really need to start I need to get Blame. on it. How about like one? Mm -hmm. And I've gotten to like the halfway point twice and it's never a commentary <laughs> on the game. I know. I'm just like, well, you guys know me by now. Like yeah. I just get distracted sometimes. <laughs> I have a question. How do you get to the halfway point twice? Maybe how about you start how about the first half point. No. Do the other half of that. It's point, been so and long. You, you forgot all the controls. Definitely. You forgot what you were doing. Uh, you gotta totally. start over. No context. Like I could be spending two hours heading in the wrong direction for all I know. That's why I need a map in Little Gator game. I don't want to be spending a minute heading in the wrong direction. There were a few times I wish I had a map in Little Gator game. Thank you. Thank you that. for saying. Nobody's been saying thank you. That's all I needed to hear. But I thank still you. found where I needed to go. I just damn, ran around damn, and damn, smashed it stuff. <laughs> she just said, basically, I, I didn't need a map. I wish oh, I heard it. I, I, I would have liked yeah. one, but I, I heard what she said. I, that's how I felt with Zelda, by the way, when I came back and played uh, Tears of the Kingdom months later i definitely played off stream for like 45 minutes just trying to remember the controls i'm like i don't remember what does what let me yep, just yep. like not Mad do this man. on stream and look stupid let me exactly. pretend like i remember <laughs> what i did yeah 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 i would love if games did that I, if a game like if you came back and it was yeah. like since since you haven't played this game in six months mm -hmm. here's what you just did here's what just happened prior i need to, it like after a week that's a I great idea. Played, yeah. If you haven't played in a week, would you, would you like to review the controls? Yes. I, yes. I would, <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. That's actually where I want some AI to be like, yeah, last, like previously on Fallout 3, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just that, give that me a rundown. Phenomenal. What's going on? Yeah. 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 This is how you, just a quick, hey, oh, dude. Yes. Give me that with AI. That's what I want. I don't want Next AI drawings feature. and whatever. Next gen feature, yeah. uh, working gamer mode where you like, dude I, no I worked 40 kidding. hours yeah. i don't remember what the hell just happened in the story give me the last 10 minutes please oh my gosh that's That'd so great. funny yeah your xbox starts up and clippy shows up and hey it looks like you're trying to balance work life <laughs> and get video games it looks <laughs> Let like me your kids had a crazy a hectic week let's try to oh remember God, you what you did in this game so funny. Yeah. <laughs> if only no, we clippy? still had connect oh, you know it could help us out even more but we said no to connect we said poo poo connect well, your body was a controller mitch that was a good time I for it. some of us. It was a wide controller. <laughs> I liked that a lot. Good. I liked I liked Connect, man. I was here for it. I bought into the vision. I, I, I sorted. I more bought into the vision of voice because I was just too late. Voice, I was, I was before, in totally. That was before, before that. Alexa Xbox happened, before right? That. Mm -hmm. I was just like, open Netflix. You did it. Play. No, my ex it Connect, worked. show me my skeleton. Show me my body temperature. Like it had all the different modes of what it was seeing and stuff. It was pretty cool. Statistic Sean loved to see his body temperature in real time. Show me my heartbeat. Yeah, just give like x ray, <laughs> just a full <laughs> send x rays into my living room. It's fine. Send that straight to Microsoft while you're <laughs> at it. <laughs> You're sitting there Weird in order enough. to play your Xbox One safely. You're sitting there with like the the lead like blanket that they give you at yeah. the dentist. 
<laughs> yeah. You ain't tracking my heartbeat, oh, Microsoft man. Bill Gates. It's cozy. It feels so good. Funny. It's relaxing. All right. It's so like that's what the I'm original playing. weighted blanket. Yes. Oh, oh definitely. That's where, that's, that's where people got like, oh, this actually feels nice when I go to yeah. the dentist. <laughs> A dentist had that realization. He goes, wait a minute. People seem all, to really all, like these lead all blankets. All my patients love this heavy blanket. What if I just put one that wasn't filled with lead? lead. <laughs> it's not lead. It can't be. What is it? I don't even know. It can't be lead. I mean, don't eat it, but. Yeah. Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> For safety. For safety. We don't Who's know what it is. Who's thinking about eating it? I mean, yeah, that's sure the only way lead tried. really hurts you, right? <laughs> If you consume no. it, no, yeah. it's in your gasoline or your paint. It's like not anymore. I it mean, only it hurt was. you in the paint when you like breathed it or ate it. Come on, breathing paint is chips. Pre so breathing when kids pretty, eat paint yeah, chips, unless that's you're why standing it, it's fine. Stop, yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Plenty no, of people live not. with lead paint. Ah, it's please. Fine. No, please, God, no. Just don't go like uh, the wall. We're going backwards. The we're Xbox Drive does not condone eating lead paint. Exactly. I'm exactly. <laughs> just telling you, don't eat it. Bowser is trying to save is you all. fueled by unleaded gasoline, for God's <laughs> yes. sakes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what a show. Oh, some Speaking of our audience fuel. the Xbox Drive. Yeah, don't anyway, eat lead paint. Please, please, Bowser. Please, God. Speaking help us. of fuel, hey. Xbox Wire fueled us up again this week with some more games coming to Game Pass. Yay. We'd love to every, see that. So we mentioned Canadian's earlier happy. there are things from the uh, Indie World showcase coming here. Uh, another Crab's Treasure coming to Game Pass day one. You'd love to see that. I, I have to say. I love it when Xbox lets another company do a conference and then right after it's over, they just put out a tweet flexing. By the way, all those things you just saw, they're coming to Game Pass if you want. Like yeah. they do it consistently and I love it. Do you like, oh, okay, let's talk about it. Bowser, what do you think on that? Oh, it's fine with me. Oh, I, I have all the up. systems. So like, it doesn't matter though. Sure. I will say when I watch a Nintendo showcase, I hope all of the games are coming somewhere else at this <laughs> yep. point. Yeah, you're, cause you're tuned Stitch in. Like you fine. know that that's a thing. Yeah, Stitch is fine. It's perfect for Switch, actually. But yeah, all this stuff, I'm glad that it's going to be on Xbox. This is a Souls-like game. Yeah, um, a Souls-like game. <laughs> this is crazy. There's How so awesome. much to unpack here. Little like, Tykes, my first Souls game. Yeah. I don't know. I, it could be brutal. Look at that. It just got true. destroyed It by is going to be brutal. It's absolutely going to be brutal. But is that Chopstick? Yo, look at him. He's like, what's up? I like oh, it's that. like garbage because they're all playing with yeah. a bunch of garbage at the bottom of the sea. Yep, you're fine. Does it have a map? To use though, if not, Sean's shell. interested. Better, be, there better be a map on this thing. Now, two things <laughs> to unpack here. Um, Do you need a map if it's linear? I need a. I uh, no, I don't always need a map. I don't always <laughs> I need a need mini a map. map to know where walls are. <laughs> yeah, little, <laughs> damn. Um, I wish Xbox had this every. Like we're kind of doing it right now, actually. Kind of wish that they had this every once in a while where they, they could go, they could do it quarterly or every two or three months or something like that. That's what quarterly is. Um, these are the games that are coming to Game Pass and like day and day and date. Day one is going to launch into Game Pass. I feel like they miss out by kind of letting Nintendo get this. Now, obviously, Nintendo has some like a like an advantage. They have so many more systems out there, more consoles. So they get these announcements. They get these trailers on theirs. But like. I've always thought about this with like even going back to E3. I think it matters where games show up. I think like you guys are educated and you want like you want to see is this going to come to Game Pass. But like I think in a lot of people's minds, Nintendo kind of owns this game and a lot of games like it because it showed up at their their moment. And it's like, damn, like you got Game Pass. People get this for like, quote unquote, for free, you know, and they Included. they miss it. Like they they I feel like they have not push the boundaries and like really it doesn't seem like they give a crap about game pass sometimes that like what we just brought up here on the podcast this xbox wire ad or or, or um article Post. is it i it would be cool if they did like a mini mini direct yes like i'm not saying anything video. crazy yeah. yeah like a yeah. youtube video just to kind of highlight stuff um i think that would be a, a not a terrible idea I mean, they would have to do... Even I mean, if again, it's not, like, new announcements, but just saying, hey, these are coming to Game Pass. Day right. One. Totally. Make that, like, a, make that a weekly or monthly thing. Make it a thing. Just a monthly, hey, here's your month in Xbox Game Pass. Here's everything that's Well, yeah, instead out. of... Okay, so we have these Xbox Wire things, these posts that come out 
twice a month, right? There's yeah, usually right. two waves. What about, I don't know, during the second one, you review everything that's coming this month and you give us a handful of other things that are upcoming in the next three months that are coming to Game Pass day one. Totally. And even, I even want to walk back one of my comments a little bit. Like even making it regular makes it normal and expected and to a certain extent kind of boring. Like you don't even have to do it all the time, but maybe like once or twice even a year when you're going to have just a banger coming to Game Pass. Like you make this event where we want to show you guys what's coming to Game Pass over the next whatever it is in 2024. Uh, and like that, whole where like like three like they they have like a whole indie showcase like a whole thing of like here's all the game pass games they had an indie uh, indie showcase for xbox Mm. since we've done this show right like they do it yes i just but sean's right though in my opinion sean's right when it comes to the if i show you this game on my yeah three conference it's a this platform game totally like I agree with that, right? Example, people associate Ori with Xbox, even though it's literally on everything else, right? People like, again, like th- those things happen. Yeah. I just think, I don't dislike when Xbox lets, I, obviously companies are getting marketing from different company. You know, obviously, do you think they got some money from Nintendo to market it or maybe, I don't know. Right? I never Something know how that works. Games. Like who's paying who? I never know. Well, Cuphead definitely got some funding from Xbox. And right, that. yeah. Like for sure got funding. Oh, I'm assuming Ori did as well, to be honest. Like, cause like I said, you, they, these companies see those games and want them on their platforms for sure. Um, but like, dude, I time, didn't even know Little Kitty Big City was coming to Xbox, period. Let alone Game Pass. And like I said, that, that's what Microsoft's been doing lately. After every one of these like things get announced, they'll put out a tweet and just be like, "Oh, by the way, yeah, this is day one. This is day one." But again, I get you, I get what you're saying though. You, I you, miss it. Like I'm, yeah. I do an Xbox show. I'm really yeah. glad Bowser sent me this link to purexbox.com. Right. Like lo- lays this out. These are all the games that were featured that are actually coming to Xbox. And these, this is actually Game Pass, Bowser. Yeah. Yeah, a couple, n- not all of them, but some of them are. It says it at the title of each game. Like Rolling Steamroll Hills. Heist 2 is coming Game Pass. Like that That's was a such a get. huge reveal that Steamworld Heist 2 is even a thing. Yep. It's and it gets out announced this on... summer and Game Pass. Like that's, that's a, that would be a huge deal for Xbox to have gotten that announcement. Do you think they could announce those things on a video after like maybe they have some sort of deal with nintendo to show them off on these things because obviously this is an xbox trailer i'm assuming right because that also happens if you haven't noticed too like yeah a game will get announced on a, on a yeah. platform and then all of a sudden that hour there's a yeah. trailer uploaded from xbox that also says oh by the way this is a thing mm-hmm. so i mean you if know, they I could that's... do a, a compilation of them that'd be a good idea since i do have all the systems and i can play everything I think I prefer the like third party shows like that triple I initiative that just happened recently or like the wholesome direct or whatever, because they show you right there at the end of the trailer, what platforms it's coming to. And if it's coming to game pass, it'll have the game pass logo. And then I just know. Do you think certain companies don't want it to be widely known it's on game pass? Cause they'd rather you pay for a version of a game on a different console rather than to get it included with game pass. I mean, I'm sure they're getting money from game pass. So regardless, I, I, we don't know the deals and the way those work, but I mean, at the same time, it's like, do you think like, yeah, we are putting it on game pass, but we'd rather show the switch version because we'd rather people buy the switch version. Just look at the hype it generates when a game is on game pass. Oh, yeah. and a bunch yeah, of people hits. start playing it because yeah. it's free or it's included in their subscription and then totally agree. the internet blows up and then they sell a bunch more for everyone that doesn't have an xbox i, I wouldn't mind them highlighting because i don't i don't feel like the xbox wire posts are enough of like here's the new stuff on game pass and i know you can go on the xbox but it's like go into the game pass tab go into the new tab and here's all your new stuff right if they did some i think a a weekly youtube video of like here's the stuff that's coming to game pass this week and this is day and day even the stuff that's already announced right um yeah yeah, like i said all this stuff right here if they just made a weekly or every two weeks youtube video that you knew was consistent at least a youtube video would get a little bit more play or some sort of more exposure than just a post on a website. And again, all these have links to YouTube videos already as it is. Could you yeah. just compile this to make it easier? 
Yeah, I just think if you're gonna if you're gonna end up like sort of piggybacking off of a Nintendo Direct or Indie Showcase or whatever it is, like then own it. Like if you know you're gonna be doing that anyways, then like kind of be a little bit more bold about it. But this is sort of like my bi-weekly or monthly attack on Xbox marketing. Like I just feel like they just drop the ball so much. They've got so many things going for them and a lot of people just don't know it. And I, and I feel like this is maybe the most inflammatory thing I'll say all day is I feel like they rely on content creators to do it for them. Like they rely on, you know, Us. those clout chasing Twitter accounts that like, oh, this and like people make, you know, artwork and thumbnails and things for them. It's like, dude, yeah. you're Microsoft. Like you kind of have to do better and like yeah. want it Spend more. Spend some of that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not on the Las Vegas sphere. Yeah. Like, I mean, they did. They bought Activision. <laughs> that don't bring them. I yeah, maybe get, they're broke yeah. now. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, that yeah was they're it. so broke. Yeah. Microsoft just filed bankruptcy, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Like it's bad. Rest in peace. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to make a negative. Like I just kind of. Oh. I, I just. It's. It's. It's coming from a place of like I want them to do better. Like these are great games that people are really excited about. That indie direct went really, really well, and they're all coming to Xbox. And like, thank God for Bowser for bringing this to my attention because right, I would have yeah. missed so much of this. Yeah. I mean, Is this the one's coming game? to Game Pass? You'll know. The month Eventually, comes to Game Pass. Right? I guess so next month we're gonna have. Oh look, Little Kitty Big Cities, out on May 9th, day one Game Pass, and I'm super that's psyched true. for that because I was gonna buy that somewhere regardless, and now I don't have to. Yeah, maybe that's the other part that matters more. I always love it when there's a game that you're willing to buy, but it just happens to go to Game Pass. You're like, what's the best? It's like <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's like yay. Yeah. All I gotta say I is any it. game that involves cats, I can just show this to my daughter, and she'll just stop playing everything else and probably want to play this she played stray yeah. she never finished stray and then they took it off playstation plus and she's like oh what the hell <laughs> like she's bummed because she never got a chance to finish it um this rolling hills game is that like overcooked vibes or is that in my am i, 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 I don't know anything trailer. about this game I didn't, watch I didn't watch the trailer so i mean if it's overcooked i'm so down this was on the indie mind. world thing i don't remember yeah. this at all oh, that's what that website said <laughs> It could yeah, have been in the sizzle reel, which was like a half a second for each game. Yeah. Oh, probably. That was a little yep. Bit yep. It says it's a spicy. life sim about running your own restaurant in a cozy village, make new friends, purchase ingredients, enhance your shop, and improve the lives of your neighbors as you perfect your craft. That sounds like a so maybe not overcooked lock with game. Do, not yeah. No, it doesn't. Do you remember how Cuphead was a sizzle reel game? Does anybody remember that? Well, it Cuphead? eventually got there. Well, no, no, no. It was it was in, so long. It was in a sizzle reel. And originally it got shown originally it was in a sizzle reel and I everybody don't remember goes, that hold 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 on hold on a minute what the hell was that like it was in i remember because i remember that was the reaction i had to the game and i think the whole internet said hold on what the hell is that and then they made it a bigger focus and all that but like that was originally in like one of those indie sizzle reels where they mm -hmm. didn't show too much attention on it and everybody was like time out what did i just see right there because that looked amazing so yeah. Uh, I can't see in the chat says they put up something on YouTube called This Week on Xbox. And I'm glad you bring it up because it sort of speaks to why I think Xbox thinks they're checking off that box. And it creates a counterpoint for what I'm talking about. This Week on Xbox sounds like a newsletter that I'm going to ignore in my inbox every week. It's like, not fun. It's it, like, here's your weekly update. Like, who cares? The reason people pay attention to indie world showcases and directs is because they're they're exciting. They're they're regular enough that you know you should be excited about it, but not so regular they become ordinary and skippable. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you're right. They do this week on Xbox, and that that might be just a prime example of some of the lamest marketing I've ever seen. Who, can, <laughs> dude, this week on Xbox, brutal. <laughs> I'm such a downer today. Holy crap! You're I'm in a downer, great mood, fine. but I'm just pooping on it everything. I need bangers coming to Game Pass this month. Get hype. Yeah, bring the hype a little bit. Light the hype fire, man. Come on. Yo. All right. I mean, you should be hyped right now. Canada, rejoice. NHL 24. Is NHL 24. We're all Let's go. taking a week I'm off. I'm wearing the hockey hat. <laughs> Just saying. Exactly. The playoffs funny. are starting, so the regular season is over. So NHL must come into Game Pass via EA Play. It's a really good game. Super fun. Uh, for all the JRPG dorks out there, Aiden Chronicles. I probably said that wrong. Bowser. <laughs> you just pissed I every JRPG right. fan I'm, off. Aiden. I, I think I over enunciated the Uden. Anyway. Not I sure. don't know. Have uh, a nice have death a nice, looks cool. Yeah, it's been on my kind of like wait for a sale, figure out when I have time, play it, 
type of deal, but hey, Game Pass, I'll play it. <laughs> and I just want to bring up Orcs Must Die 3, because this was part of the Stadia conversation that Sean was mad about. And here it is <laughs> on Game Pass. Uh, till the next. Also, I do want to mention two things. One, rest in peace, Arizona Coyotes. Have fun in Salt Lake City. Uh, two, Manor Lords is apparently the most wish list game on Steam. And what? it's coming to Game Pass day one. There was an Just article. PC, man. Yeah, like there was an article that came out that literally said, I, I was up all night playing Steam's most wish list game, and it's Manor Lords, and it's coming to Game Pass day one. And uh, good for them. That's amazing. That's that's amazing for them to be like, um, can we get this on Game Pass? Yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. So don't know what the hell it is, um, but I'm glad that it's um, something that's going to be getting that kind of play. So good for them. Is that in the Xbox Wire um, article, Bowser? That is such a cool nugget, Mitch. That's such a cool thing to know about this game. That like, you know, on its own, I don't know. Oh, we saw this on a, was this the developer direct thing that they did earlier this year? I think it that's where we saw been, this originally. Or it was another game similar to this. They all kind of look similar to me. Yeah, I think we did see this. But that is so fascinating to me that it's the most wish list. Like, that's a huge deal. That is a very big deal. So it's like, it's this weird kind of like, Power World is, is the, the uh, most recent example, I think, of this, where mm -hmm. yeah. somehow it's like a sleeper hit kind of a thing. Like, Power World, now that it's a thing, makes sense. But I don't think yeah, anybody expected that thing out. to be. I don't know. It was getting like a lot that of big. attention. I didn't expect it to be quite that big, but right. I also yeah. expected it to be a different kind of game. So right. I kind of fell off of it. But, but like these, these are good stories for Xbox and for Game Pass and everything. I like yeah. man. I had no clue. That's amazing, Mitch. Funny enough, this article is actually from MSN.com. <laughs> <It's> Fascinating. <laughs> Steam's most wishlist MSN. indie game will be available to play on Game Xbox Game Pass. So yeah, like, I, again, it's like weird that that's not in the title if that's not mentioned anywhere. Which, granted, obviously that's a changing statistic that could change at any sure. point in time. But like, yeah. if you can say as of two days ago and it's coming out here soon, that all of a sudden yeah. it's coming to Game Pass, like, that's, that's cool, man. Pretty nice. awesome. That's a great thing to Manor be able to out there. Yep, it's going on the whiteboard. Has two it's million going... wish lists. That's insane. But I thought Game Pass made people not buy games. Yeah. I, I remember when I read that stat that Game Pass made people buy more games. My I did that like dog head tilt. I'm like, what? <laughs> <The> like <laughs> the head tilt. Yeah. What I are you buy it dude? About right now. Because if you're in, like you're you're one of the more engaged people. Like you're really like tapped in. Like it's sort right. of like a self-selecting audience. You're really tapped in. But it it is counterintuitive because you think, why would I buy anything else? I've already got Game Pass. It's less of that and more uh this is like a a gamer kind of person like you're 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 already you've already kind of had the, like the sunk cost kind of thing i think the other thing too is it opens people's eyes to different genres of games because there's no barrier to entry if you totally want to play a, an well rpg said. yep you download an rpg off game pass and then go oh i heard this rpg was awesome but it's not on game pass go buy it i think that's where it comes from but i always found that weird when like they were toting that and they were like talking about that also too, uh real easy to make a game on game pass and make people pay for the dlc that's a yeah. real easy way to regenerate revenue for a company too some people um, don't like that mitch some people don't enjoy that that's a thing i don't care i think i'm with you yeah. but i i know that some people a get developer a little, i'd rather have after a game came out oh, yeah no. i'd rather pay for game pass and have to buy dlc and have so many games than to pay for like ubisoft plus where you get all of their stuff but it's just their stuff and that's all there ever is <laughs> that's true yeah yeah i mm. had ea play too like i had ea play before so did i Game pass was a thing i thought ea play yeah i awesome. saved money <laughs> like ea play for me real talk i loved the sports games yeah but 10 hours was all i cared about same i literally played madden played newest madden for 10 hours and i was like I got my Madden fix for the year. Yeah, I'm totally. good. And that's all I had it for. And also it wasn't even expensive. It was actually pretty affordable. I think it was $30 yeah. a year or something. Like it was really it affordable. It was, yeah. And again, I, I remember like the real test was then, I think it was Unravel came out and it was like, hey, I don't think this game is even 10 hours long. 
How are you guys yeah. going to handle that? And then yeah. they were like, here's a two hour trial. Like, yeah, that's exactly ah, what it was. You're right. Ah, yeah. you got me. Well, um, and also like some of the, the single player, like the story things that they had for Madden and for FIFA as well. Like the, mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the what they called modes. it. What was it? Well, not, not my, uh, not my career. My, I don't know. It was like a superstar or something, right? Like it was yeah. like actually like acted out and everything mm -hmm. and they could, they would get you only so far before right. they shut it off. Yeah. But I think Which like that fine. was a cool thing. Yeah. Like the trials themselves. I actually mm -hmm. was going to look into Ubisoft plus for star Wars outlaws. I was looking into it for that. Not a bad only idea because I think could I do just a month being yes. outlaws and be kind of good. Cause if that's <laughs> yes. the case, that's probably what I'm going to do. I um, signed up for a month and I tried avatar. Uh, there was a couple things out there. Maybe it was Assassin's Creed. There was a few, that all came and out in a short period of time, and I was like, eh, "Do you I'll get pop a like month the and try deluxe it. version of yeah, the game as well? You get the full thing. That's nuts. Because it's that expensive. Is, that's, how much is Ubisoft Plus? Twenty bucks a month? Yeah, somewhere in that range. Nineteen twenty. I mean, again, like for me, I'm just you, thinking about Star Wars Outlaws specifically. That, like, that's it would literally be start, beat Outlaws, cancel. Like that would be all yeah. I would want to do. Because if you can do it in point, one or two months, you're ahead of the game. Hundred percent. That would be like I'm very much looking forward to that. Also, I'm a little bummed out because Ubisoft apparently put the Job of the Hut mission behind a season pass. Yeah, y'all kind of suck for that. A little weird, um, mm -hmm. little little shiesty mm -hmm. just, there. Just reminding you, it's a Ubisoft game. Yeah. In well, case like I said, I also I also wouldn't mind screwing them over by only paying twenty bucks and getting it done and being, you know, done with the game. You know what I mean? Like I I wouldn't mind doing that either because Jedi Survivor loved it, but at the same time have zero want to go back and like completely beat it any of that stuff you know yeah. and like i said if i have to pay for a season pass to get that job of the hut mission am i going to pay for it a deluxe version of the game just for that or am i going to pay 20 bucks try to beat it in a month and yeah. just be done with it you know what i mean yeah 17.99 totally. for the level you yeah, need to play not on too xbox bad. it's yep. not terrible it's about like i said the the craziest part is they give you that deluxe version that's the thing that's like the big selling point for me because that's wild that they give you the the highest end version of the game which either retails probably for 100 or 130 bucks yeah yep. for roughly 18 bucks if you can beat it in a month so uh also if i can find an even trial code for it rad i don't think those exist for it but uh you know i love that um but no like i i think that's how i'm gonna handle star wars outlaws because especially when the yep. way they handled that mission i'm like how about f you and how about i just buy it for 17 <laughs> bucks a month and do that how about that <laughs> I love yeah. Star Wars. I'm looking yeah. forward to that game quite a bit. That Same. game looks fun. That looks yes. cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I give Ubisoft credit. They've been really making the push to have all of their games be like cross save, cross play, yeah. cross everything. Like it's all through your Ubisoft Connect account. So mm -hmm. that's nice. And to get Ubisoft Plus on your Xbox, you have to like be at the tier that lets you play everywhere. So you can also play on your PC. I think there is like a PC only version. Oh, I got you. So they have like cheaper. an ultimate. Yeah. They have like an ultimate like a that includes extra tier. Okay. Yeah. I mean, also so too, I wouldn't mind both. seeing which runs better. My series X or my PC would run it better. Wouldn't mind trying that on either one either. So nice. Nice. Very nice. But yeah, don't do scummy things like that. Job of the Hut missions. Awesome. Make that a thing. Don't put it in season pass. Don't yeah. Mean. That does feel gross. Yeah. Also, I might try out that uh, South Park game that got slammed by the way yeah the snow day snow yeah. day got ripped to shreds by the way stick of truth uh awesome game fractured butthole awesome game great games where did you guys go wrong with snow day and why did it get like just flamed by every reviewer like i didn't see anybody talk positive about that game and i was just weirded out by that i'm like how do you, how do you screw that up i don't know did you ever play in the south park games the south park rpgs no. Oh, Bowser, you haven't? They're oh, you gotta fun. play Sick of Truth. Sick of Truth is really good. Oh, Sick required. Oh. There was a boss battle interested. in that game that literally made me just like, I had oh to stop gosh. and I'm just like. With the hamster? No, no, I was thinking about the Jared one. Um, <laughs> I literally was like, there is <laughs> no so many. shot. There's so this many. This is a boss in the game. It's awesome. It's terrible. It's awesome. No, oh, Bowser does not look impressed. We always have one person on a podcast who was a difficulty slider. To it, but I'm not going to buy it. So. Yeah. 
that difficulty slider when you choose your character skill. No, it's too much. It's I, oh, dude, it's so funny. I love it. Oh my yeah. god! It looks like Ubisoft Plus updated, and now there is just like there's a classic tier that's cheaper, and then the premium. So Does the classic isn't... tier still give you the season pass stuff though, or is it like you have to pay no. the higher version? So the higher version is where you get the season pass stuff. Yeah. Again, I, if it's but it's if like seven ninety nine literally... versus seventeen ninety nine. So. Even 18 bucks for me to play Star Wars Outlaws, New try games. to get it done in a month. Sure. Yep. Sounds good. That's what I'll yep. do. It's well, cool that well, like you, Avatar... you could spend three months and you're still ahead if you're talking very like true. premium or ultimate edition type stuff. That's yeah. actually very true. Yeah. So I wonder if that does game just, share well. Do you want to own the game or do you are you fine playing it? And who cares? I'm so on this. It's, here's by the way, when you come to digital, real talk, no one owns a digital game. But you don't even own your physical games anymore <laughs> well right yeah i mean like i said like if I, I lately i the only reason i buy physical games is really like if i plan to beat it and trade it in and just never play it again that's literally my thought process like i'd rather try to get yeah. some sort of money back from it if i just would like i'm cool with this game the way it is um all my playstation games i have a digital ps5 um because those playstation games are the games that i'm like I will eventually try to go back and play some more of this. I think these games are great, but dude, I bought Jedi Survivor physically. I wow, all the, all, all the South Park games, uh, physical, just because I beat them and I'm like, I'm good. I'll get rid of it. Go to GameStop, Sell but uh, that's cheaper now. Like, I mean, Ubisoft Plus is cheaper just to do that. I, even if I pay two months of it, I don't yeah, know how long yeah. that Outlaws game plans to be. My guess is probably just as long as Jedi Survivor, which is thirty ish maybe hours. I'm fine I gotta get back to that, man. Holy crap! I was Jedi Survivors. Awesome. Uh, it is really good. Dang God, it. that game is good. That is good. good. That, games. that one scene. That I need a one vacation. Mission, you just had one. I know. I <laughs> did not get through nearly <laughs> enough. Games. And you played a game that didn't have a map. Seriously, that's the thing. Like that's why the regret is there. It's like, oh, my time is gone. I'm never getting that back. All Those good. are hours I'll never get back. Thanks, a little Gator game. So so bitter about it i know i just like I the, the anger the anger game. just slotted towards this super all cute you game needed was a little circle in the top corner or left corner of something that just give me map. just give me a gps in little gator game <laughs> just point Sh me in the right direction speaking of gps's in games shout out to hogwarts the way that they do the map on that and the way if you need to know like because hogwarts obviously has many levels hit a button tell me where to walk it does yeah, a phenomenal job. That's what job I want. That. It does a yep. phenomenal job of that. I will say that about that game for sure. Okay. Uh, what else is that? <laughs> that is so angry at you in the chat. I know. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. for, for all you uh, audio listeners, uh, Sean in the chat says, it's rare that I'm disappointed in Sean, but Little Gator game is perfect. Yeah. 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 I'll teach their own. I'll yeah. save my perfect descriptor for a bit of a better game than that. You know what I'm saying? is mm -hmm. what it is okay what else, Mo what else moving on go ahead i and, feel uh, like i'm just gonna throw this out here for the future mm -hmm. this is sort of like a behind the scenes comment but like we could probably ditch the topic of the show kind of as a thing like we don't need that you know what i mean like we don't need to predetermine that we can, 90 minutes in just to hanging out this has been awesome yeah, so you don't want to do the topic you done with us now you no we can talk no we're not no we're not done the show at all i'm just, <laughs> he's I'm like, just he's saying like, save it for next week i'll he's make like, it i'm so thumbnail. mad you made me play better. a little gator game. not at all I'm don't un even I'm don't misunderstand no, not that's not that's not what i'm saying i'm flipping actually, my desk as we speak I'm i am here. trying to be positive i'm trying to celebrate us because i'm we're having so much fun talking about the things that are like just organically coming up it's like the hell with that topic like what are we what do we need that for? We got great questions from the community. I'm pressured to figure out what the topic is and like be ready the day before because yeah, I need to think about my answers. Yeah, but we can just fire up a podcast and just kind of like right, let's just do that. Then. Well, also, I mean, if a community question comes, in, <laughs> we can just make that exactly. That's what like, the topic. That's, came that's what this from. is. That, that is his topic. <laughs> yeah. So, if community questions. It's just come a matter in, of a just, thumbnail. That's the all problem. This that's is. a thumbnail. The damn thumbnail. It's just thumbnail. a thumbnail and a title for the episode. It's the stupidest thing. So next week, the thumbnail and the title on YouTube is just going to be like, who the hell knows? We'll see what happens. Which will just be fees back. Fees, exactly. <laughs> totally. Just some random thought. Just People put a picture of a much Fallout helmet. That's figure it. Figure out what that's going to be, right? Like, we don't yeah. need to tell anybody what we're going to talk about when Fee <laughs> comes back next week, right? I'm yeah. here, man. I, I think it'd be great. Yeah. Like, just yeah, whatever happens, happens. And that's kind of the origins of the Xbox tribe, by the way. 
Like Dave and I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. I just hopped in my car and got to work 35 minutes later. End of show. The end. Right. I love it. I, I mean, professionals around if, here. If we, if we do, I mean, like I said, I don't mind the getting rid of the main topic of the show. Again, the, 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 the thing kind of sucks. But also the, the thumbnail part sucks and the title part sucks. I get it. We can't expect what we're going to talk about and live change it. Right. Right. Um, but I do like we the can, fact of like making. Could. Uh, we could. I do like the fact, though, of making a community question a focal point of the show. I do like that part, though. But, I mean, that technically turns into topic of the show. That might be the solution, Mitch. I think you might be honest. Like, just a placeholder thumbnail and title. And then after we're live, we're like... Drive episode number whatever the episode number is, right? Yep. That's it. Totally. That's the thumbnail. This feels great to me. Let's do it. (laughs) All right, Just somebody Dr. tell Pat Fiona. Right. Yeah. <laughs> somebody See, tell Fiona. This is somebody tell happening. Fiona we changed the whole whole show <laughs> around when she left. Pretty we significant just waited for portion. You <laughs> to be gone for us just to change the whole damn thing. It's okay. Yes. Okay. But speaking cool. of an awesome community question, do you have the actual community question? Do you remember what it was at all or no? Thousand knows if, everything. She does. Oh, give me a minute. Top five game endings of all time. No spoilers. So, so just want to be clear. We don't need to do top five. We can just yeah, talk about how about this? I how about we just spitball? High. So yeah. again, we also are going to make sure that we don't talk about spoilers because some of these endings like are incredible. But if I tell you why it's incredible, totally you don't want to. You, you already know. Um, wait, what? Mind your business fee. Um, yeah, mind your anyway. business. <laughs> mind yeah, your hit business. rewind. Hit rewind. Yeah, yeah. Hit rewind. If you missed it. Yeah. Shut the show off. <laughs> <laughs> Drink some tea. You'll be fine. Don't Drink worry about some it. Drink some tea. Some um, chicken noodles. But soup. no, we were talking about, um, I mean, the top five game endings. I just think we should talk about some awesome game endings and what makes a great ending to a game. Totally. Um, we do have some list here, but also, I mean, Sean doesn't have anything on there. Fee doesn't I have five. I didn't want there. to give it away. I did. I was starting to type it there, but I didn't want to. Oh, I didn't want to. Okay. I've got I it on like, notepad. <laughs> I think if we talk about. Super oh, you got secret. separate. I got Windows yeah, no, notepad his own. to the side here. I hear oh, you. not even notepad plus plus. No, basic. Oh, you got to upgrade your life. TXT. That's what I'm dealing with over here. <laughs> Let's go. Um, but I figure we could talk about some some of our favorite game endings and what makes them great in particular. Yes. Um, yes. You know, again, top five is a lot. I and got also, at least five. I don't. I, I, I mean, time. I didn't. I, I, I I'll take some of some of yours then, Sean. How about that? You can give them yeah. to me. Well, I, how about I start with one that I actually can tell you guys the ending about? Yeah, go. Because like, oh, if I'm people are going to get mad about this, then I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. Okay, here uh, the, we go. Let's piss the internet off. Go ahead. The game is... This is really going to upset some people, so just ha- just hold on to your hats. Okay. The game is Wolfenstein 3D. The ending okay. for Wolfenstein 3D from 1991 or whatever it was. <laughs> okay. The ending is awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because you fight Hitler that's in it. True. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. So, so why, in your opinion, is that... What makes that a good... Is it... So what's the part of that ending that you like and what makes it a great ending in your opinion besides well, the fact is that those shock are deep value? questions it's definitely yeah. the shock value of like like we've been sitting here killing not nazis the nazis. whole time like let me let me have the the big bad himself and they put him in there like it's kind of i i feel like especially now like you're not gonna you're not gonna see hitler in a game you know he, he's in he's in the new world so I mean, other than the new, I mean, <laughs> I was trying not to ruin other games, but there you go. Uh, yeah, it's it, the shock factor. Wasn't he in like a mech or something? Like, was it like mech in, in Wolfenstein 3D? Yes, yeah. he was definitely mech. mech like, hell yeah, mech. dude. Yeah, there's Ryan Turford. In the, <laughs> that's a great ending, Sean. And it's mecha Hitler, not just exactly. That's exactly. Like the better version yeah. to kill. What a dream, you know, to just like take out the big, the biggest bad of them all. Just get rid of, just, yeah, yeah just get rid of them. So like yeah, it's, it's a good question. Like what makes it like, it's uh yeah, definitely shock value. And um, you get a little bit of a, just a f- fantasy. Take out all these amazing weapons that you've been collecting this entire time and unload in stupid Hitler's face. Take that. That's right. You I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, Wolfenstein. I just wanted to like fully give out an ending that like people actually can't get mad at because. Because that game's 30 years old. The game's very old. old. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, what about you, Bowser? Like, what's a one particular game that ending that you love and why? I think I'll have to throw it out for an Xbox game here and say Gears 5. <sighs> Ooh, I knew uh, that's in the thumbnail, and I knew it was going to make Mitch do that. <laughs> Mitch so, doesn't like the ending. Oh, my, no, There's, no, no. I don't I don't dislike the ending. I don't like the choice you have to make. Yeah, so it's, you have to make a legit. choice. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I don't know how 
they reconcile that choice for There's year no six. There's no right answer. Because There's no right answer. Well, it makes it's two games. Bad. Yeah. Like, are you, <laughs> you two different games? Well, exactly. Who did you save? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I was going to say, it definitely, I, real talk, it has to, though. It, yeah. yeah, I don't know what to. they do. There's no way to not do it that way. Like, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, but no, I man. Think, I think what it is that it's having a very difficult choice that I actually get to make. And it doesn't make a huge difference as to what happens. Like, you still fight the same big bad yeah. sure. at the end. Um, but there's, there's some character interactions, which, of course, are dependent on which one you chose. So, yeah, that's a big <laughs> emotional <ruined>. payoff. <laughs> I got so sad thinking about that again. I wish I was when that choice happened. You're yeah. just like I, I put done. my I, play I put my controller down and Same. went. What Same. are you totally. asking me to do right now? Are yeah. you out of your mind? This is crazy. And I'm like, and I'm sitting there having a conversation with myself. Like, yep. if, I, if I do that, if I do that, oh, neither one's good. Uh, yeah. You know what's crazy? You saying that though brought back a game to me that also doesn't have a good option for an ending. What's that? Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5 has a, a an ending that's like, this sucks. And then the secret ending is, this sucks more. Ooh. It's, 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 yeah, the secret ending, you're like, oh man, it'll be a good version of this. No, it's actually worse. It's actually like, oh no. Oh, I need a refresher actually... on that. I can't remember. Uh, I've beaten it. I have beaten I didn't it. Play it. Did you do the secret ending? I don't know. Oh, I'd really have to go back and, and look at it, actually. Yeah, yeah. And just, what's weird do, is that that DLC, that's the expand. What are they? Um, those with the two girls. Guys. Those. Oh, well, Far Cry New Dawn. Was it? No, New Dawn is Far Cry 5, isn't it? But they had like a an expansion story thing that they always do, um, which actually yeah. was really good. I didn't play that one. I know. And, but the reason I bring it up is because like that ending is actually like, it's like it's saved over the memory. Like I overwrote the memory in my mind. Like oh, all I can yeah, think yeah, of yeah, is, is that expansion. It was, far, it was Far Cry New Dawn. That was it the, was New Dawn? Was, it was spent off in sequel to Far Cry 5, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't mm -hmm. know why I think, yeah. Like even the game, it's the expansion itself has overwritten the, the memory of the game itself in my mind. Interesting. Far Cry, I, I was so bummed because Far Cry. I love Far uh, Cry 5. 5 is great. 6 is depressing. Far I'm kind of with you. Yeah. Six, six. The only thing I made it suck was the AI. It was so stupid. It was so dumb. Yeah. It was yeah. awful. It was, it was like insulting to play. It's a pretty wild like, okay. game. Yeah. Yeah. But no, Far, Far Cry 5 was definitely, uh, also took place in a, uh, rural, like Montana area. Yep. Which also scared the hell out of me because I'm like, I'm, these could be real people for all we know. I love it. Um, it is like a crazy game. But no, that game is absolutely like the ending of it. You're like, oh, that's not necessarily the happiest of endings. Yeah, and then oh, like here's the back. secret one. The secret one is real bad. Oh no! It's, it's like it's like real like oh no. Bad. Check my chivos. I've definitely beaten this game, but you guys know me in my memory. It's I'll not, send you a YouTube video. You'll see it and go. Not, oh not yeah, the best. that. Um, no, but like that. I think that's the thing. Like games that the ending is memorable because it's like not necessarily a very happy ending. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it's like oh damn, like. There wasn't a good, and again, some people get pissed off at it, right? Like, look what happened to Infinity War when <laughs> everybody's dead, and they're just like roll credits. I remember somebody in the theater was like, <laughs> "What are you doing right now?" So some people don't like that, but I think that's something that for me, that's like a memorable thing. Like, and yeah. it's a, it, sometimes it's like an awesome choice that they make. Sometimes well, it should leave you thinking it. about it. Like yes. that's, I guess, like the really the point is like it should be making you like reflect on, and it should hammer home especially story driven games mm -hmm. um should leave you kind of think like wow i can't believe that was a thing i think the final boss battle has a lot to do with my feeling on on games um mm -hmm. uh what was it um quantum break has a famously terrible final boss oh, yeah. and you know oh, most yeah. games fail the final boss and anyway. bioshock is like one of the best games ever made terrible final boss um but to the point of like leaving you with like basically heartbreak is mm -hmm. The Walking Dead season one. Great ending. Oh Great conclusion God. to that. Um, yes. Because, you know, you, you dodge so much the whole time and then it kind of just, the way that it ends, it's like, yeah, this is the world. This is this world mm -hmm. of The Walking Dead. So it, it, it tracks. Um, the Usual Suspects is a movie that its ending remind, is, is what I'm reminded of when I think about the ending to Call of Duty Black Ops, the campaign. 
mm -hmm. with the numbers. Yes. And it's like, yeah, like who knew Call of Duty had that up its sleeve? Right. You know, where he actually cared about the end. It's like, what? By the way, shout out to Call of Duty campaigns. Those are awesome. Total. To out, totally. Those are awesome. And those are quick games you can play. Those are yep. fun. I, yeah, so I, I mean, want to give a shout out there. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, like the thought, again, like, yeah, just, you could say the same thing about Last of Us, right? Last of Us, that ending when he's Oh, like, the first one? It, the, yeah, the only the, first one. the only game that's, The yeah. good one. I don't even mm -hmm. start. Anyways, <laughs> I might you know, but it's that thought provoking play. thing. It's like is sad he gonna dads tell her? can go be sad dads. <laughs> and I'll be over here yeah. being the vengeful daughter. Yeah, yeah. No, but like the the hmm. the thought of like, is he going to tell her the truth or not? And then yeah. it's like, oh, OK. But yeah. again, it's thought provoking. That's a great yeah. ending because afterwards you're talking about it and having podcasts and discussions. Like this about what are your thoughts on multiple endings, like uh, either better or worse endings or like depending on your choices like that used to be like when when chrono trigger came out and everybody's like there's 40 endings or whatever and that was like a huge deal that's too much 40 is yeah. excessive yeah i don't know if I'll it's take, 40 or 14 I'll Ryan's take, in the chat he'll correct me yeah i'll say max ember of endings three or four max yeah yeah max good yeah. good bad especially if you have games where you have decisions that you have to make right like good yeah. bad best worst what if it's the same ending just different colors like Mass Effect. Is that what you guys happened in Mass Effect? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> the three, at Mass Effect 3, uh, the ending, there's there's a lot to be said about that one. It is 14, it says Ryan in the chat for Chrono Trigger. Um, people will argue about Mass Effect 3's ending until the end of time. That is, that is as certain as death and taxes. Uh, but what cannot be argued about is how Mass Effect 2 ends. And because the the whole game culminates into the suicide mission and the way that game ends depends on how you played the rest of the game and like it's this it's a it's sort of like what i was just talking about with like multiple endings but it's different like who makes it to the end including you like who makes it through depends on how you play the rest of the game and it's like how does it get better than that you know like the stakes are so high that's why i love bioware games i've said it a thousand times before um, but the enemy, it's this insurmountable challenge and obstacle and bad guy. And yeah, the stakes are so huge. Mass Effect 2. Have you guys played? I feel like, I feel like you guys are looking at me like you have not played Mass Effect 2. What in the world? It's on EA Play and it's part of the, the Legendary Edition. Play all the Mass Effects, you guys. I, when yeah. the Legendary Edition came, I played a little bit of one. I was like, <gasps> all right, this is like an ancient game. I can't. I'm done. Yeah, I didn't play it. Oh, that's heartbreaking. But here's and the now thing. you know I how it feels about that. Little Gator Game. Yeah. Did you yeah. play Little Gator Sean. Game and not Mass Effect 2? Yes, a hundred times. <laughs> Sean, what Sean have I done? Us. What Sean, have I Sean done? Just, Sean just <laughs> fired us. Fiona, come, come, come back to me. Fiona, back. Fiona yeah. Fee, yeah. I need you. Come Ryan, back. Ryan, yeah. we're going back to Ryan. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, Mass guys, you know, like the it's a it's 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 an insurmountable challenge. Like the the last mission is like this is it, and we're just trying to to save the galaxy. And if even if we don't survive, it's crazy. It's so good. Oh, y'all need to play Mass Effect. What is going, dude? Thank you, Ryan Turford in the chat in all caps. Look, he yeah. hasn't even played Mass Effect. Played My Thank you. God, yeah, we're all fired. We're all fired. Fine well, you're just, well, just leave. Throw... you're just on leave until you go play Mass Effect. <laughs> you're on leave. You're on, you're on suspension until you go play all of the Mass Effects. You don't need to play all of them. About... Just a, at least up to two. How about this, Mitch? How about we just throw Sean off, and then there's nobody here to be mad that we didn't play it? I that's mean, true. That's, that's true. true. A, a, a three of we the We still four got hosts. a whole show here. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, what is it that. called when the crew takes over the pirate ship? It's a mutiny, mutiny. damn it. Mutiny. It's a mutiny. <laughs> Here we are. Oh yeah. man, sure feels like a <laughs> mutiny. <laughs> um, what other? Okay, like Bowser. What? What about you? What's another one that you prefer? All right. Favorite. I, I feel like I shouldn't like this one, and I'm not like I have a love hate relationship with this game. Every aspect mm -hmm. of it, from start to finish, including the ending. But I will say Elden Ring. And I think it it's it's the ending boss battle. Mm -hmm that's was incredibly hard for me like i summoned so many helpers who obviously did not help because i ended up beating it by myself but just grinding the crap out of it 
my husband kept telling me, you've played for like three hours on the same thing. Step away. Do it tomorrow. I'm like, but I, I, I know the pattern now. I'll get it. And then, no, <laughs> I did not. And <laughs> It's really so weird how that happens. It totally you happens. stop. Chill. Yeah. Come back. It was days. It soon. It was multiple days that I was in this boss battle. God damn. Yeah. That sounds sweet. God damn. That's But crazy. then once I beat it, man. Ooh. There was so that some screaming love, and though, some because swearing. Of the satisfaction yeah. of like, yeah, yeah that yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah. By the way, I yeah. love that when SpongeBob thinks he's like employee of the month and SpongeBob the first movie, and he just looks at the person next to him and goes, "Yeah, <laughs> that's what she did when she beat the Elder Ring boss." She just yeah. looked right at her husband and screaming. screamed. Yeah, I probably scared him. That's oh, so yes. funny. The way you that's even funny. kind of talk about that, like it kind of gives you like the the history, the entomology of. Like where do you where does it come from when you say you beat a game? Because like games used yeah. to be hard, and it really was you like defeating yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. And yes. Elder Ring, it sounds like oh yeah, totally. Yeah. It's Dang like it. that. Yeah. Um, I yeah, like certain boss battles are difficult, and beating them is like that sense of accomplishment, and you're like, yes, this is awesome. Like totally. that's another reason why an ending, quote unquote, can be awesome. Because even if the story sucks, right? You're just like, I feel a sense of accomplishment beating this final boss yeah so i definitely get that um one that i love just because of like the overall like this is awesome moments halo 3's ending oh yeah has to be brought up for the, sure the warthog and the, here's the just thing cinematic for me, it's cinematic but my thing for me that that drives this one home music drives it not a warthog mm -hmm. pun intended uh but the music of like that final mission just like let's go yeah like, that just really leaves you especially like music can be impactful for many reasons but like adding it to an awesome mission oh, what a good just, call that's just let's go like there's mm -hmm. such a moment about it that adding a, a good soundtrack to it or something to the end of a game can be oh very chills yes yeah. i'm like replaying it in my mind and oh then I'm, I'm seeing myself like fall off a cliff or having like one of the tiles fall <laughs> yeah, off under me fall like, oh, yeah, damn yeah, it yeah. i gotta start over again yeah. yeah. No, like some, nice. sometimes music definitely, definitely adds to an ending and yep. makes an ending phenomenal. And like, uh, in in general, music can make a game good to better and better to best. Like, yeah, adding for a soundtrack sure. or anything for sure. I definitely uh, like that. Music like helps. Also, sound effects help the ending of a game. And there's two sound effects that happen at the end of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. And anybody who's played it knows exactly what I'm talking about. And it's just. Yeah. wonderful it's just like a hundred percent fan service was it necessary for the story or anything like that probably not but like just kind of the last thing that you expect to happen even though you should totally expect that to happen to makes absolute sense within that story in that universe uh but man like that's that is like that's an ending that is totally worth playing throughout the entire game to get there and to see it like the payoff is so so good um, cause you felt like a Jedi this whole time. And then that happens. It's like, oh, this is great. Yes. Like that's a recent one, but yeah, that's, I really enjoy that one. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Just the build up to dude. Yeah. I remember when dude, again, mm -hmm. you just said that. And I'm like that moment when that happened, I, w I don't know if I, I, I streamed that or put that on YouTube or not, but I want to go back and look at my face. The moment I know. that happens. And I'm like, <gasps> Like those moments. If only we still like connect, man. Recording our very our lives all the Bowser, time. Bowser, what's your episode? What's your game, Bowser? Go ahead and talk. Bowser, <laughs> stop talking about. It. God damn. Well, I was going to leave this game off the list because I couldn't decide which thing to talk about. But since Ryan Turford brought it up in the chat, I will bring up Final Fantasy fourteen. It ends. Um, he's. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Hey, every expansion has an ending. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because they're like entire games in right. each expansion, so. Let's lay that out there. Ryan likes Shadowbringers the best. I think it's probably close neck and neck between Shadowbringers and Endwalker for me. Um, maybe Endwalker pulls ahead because it is the culmination of everything so far. So that was the latest expansion. And we've kind of like tidied up all of that. All of those big bads, all of the things that were happening. We save everybody because we're the hero. I mean, what mm. else are we going to do, right? Right. And like... The next expansion coming this summer is like going off to a whole new area. So that's cool. It was a very good wrap up. A lot of like throwback memories and stuff happened throughout the game. So very emotional ride. Good conclusion to the story. Mm, that, the game I was going to talk about next is actually a callback. Like those games where you call back to previous games. Bioshock Infinite. 
Oh, wow. Bioshock. That ending confused the hell out of me. I had no idea what the heck was going on. Did you play the other? You played the other ones, though, right? Yeah, that doesn't really explain okay, too much for me. Um, uh, no, but like, like it does like, make it, sense. But in the moment, I was like, I need to go look something up. Like I need to. I, oh yeah, I think everybody at the end of that game had to go. Hold on a second. What just happened exactly? To- exactly. Then, exactly. But then when you realize when like you watch a YouTube to break down of yep. what just happened, you're like, that ending is insanity. Ooh, that's exactly. And to pull it back a little bit, like that's what makes a good ending. Is like you are compelled like you can't even help yourself but like you're immediately going to try to consume something more about the game or the ending or whatever like you know a game crushes it when you're not done with it you know yeah either you want to go listen to a podcast a spoiler cast go find an explanation hit new game plus or whatever like you're not done with the game because the ending was so good you just can't help but you can't you can't leave it yet right Mm. goes to contrast to some games where the ending does not explain anything and you still have no idea what's going on even after you listen to all the podcasts and watch all the videos like what i'm a kingdom hearts fan i know exactly oh, what you're talking is. about there it is yeah <laughs> i was thinking I'll of watch returnal the YouTube but video. what were you saying, thinking I... of returnal yeah yeah i haven't yeah. i haven't been the story is just kind of like very much left to your own imagination and your interpretation of what happened love the game got the platinum still have no idea exactly what's happening nice yeah no that yeah like every kingdom hearts game though that's like okay if you say so it's it's finished (laughs) i i kind of don't get it still but i'll go watch a Mm -hmm. youtube video on it no bioshock infinite the moment you kind of realize like it kicks in like wait what's going on right now and then you realize what's happening and then you just like holy yeah that they're actually tied together all yeah like yeah besides two two sucks um, two does not suck. I, I, two, I'll, I'll two defend is, two. Two is a cash grab, unnecessary, and not needed. It's Everyone fun. Just wanted to play as a big. It's fun. It didn't tie into it. I like I, you know what sucks though is like I really actually like would rather them never make another Bioshock game again. Real talk. Like if they just that as a trilogy and that. As I'm a with thing, you. I'm cool, totally with you. Stop. Although Kev Levine is making his new game, Judas. which looks very Bioshock ish, which I'm fine with Bioshock ish, but Same. like that story. The problem is Bioshock is just too good of a like franchise and thing, a, just an idea. It's, like, yeah, it's, an idea that could be a movie, that could be a video game, thousand percent. that could be a tons of different things. And the thing that sucks is almost like, how about no? How about yeah, we just leave it leave alone. This the way it mm-hmm. is. It's really good right now. Let's yep. not mess with it. But you know, two K can do what two K wants to yeah, do. Yeah, they might. They might do what they do. Make another one, but. Some other and and historians in the chat and the in the community can maybe enlighten me on this um, because I feel like there is a connection between System Shock and Bioshock and I don't know what that is actually probably and probably the shock some sort, the shock <laughs> in the title <laughs> I'm shocked yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's more than just the title but I guess the reason I bring that up is like this sort of like underlying like people don't really know unless you know kind of connection between bioshock and judas the next game from from ken levine like Mm -hmm. i'm kind of hoping like that's what that might be like a little less like on the nose i don't want it to be in the same world um you know that kind of thing it's just there's something else like from the the design of it like some of the same approaches and the design the level design and the powers and things but other other than that like leave rapture alone like yes. don't don't go back to that but there's yes. other things that you can kind of like have working through the only thing that sucks about an ending like bioshock infinite is that not having experience one you actually really might think it's a bad ending because you're like i actually truly don't know what the hell is going on right now fair and that's yeah. the only thing that kind of sucks on those endings right sometimes endings tie back so much that if you didn't play those previous games you're like sol like you're totally. saying, I, i'm sure this is cool i have no idea what's happening right yeah. so i mean yeah. games if they have like an ending it's great but if it calls too much if you didn't play those previous games but also i yeah. do like how some games are like should i have played this game yeah no you're fine like you know i mean some games are like that where you don't necessarily have to play the previous ones but like example if i went and played mass effect 2 and didn't play one that'd probably be a problem no not really no you don't think so certainly not to get the impact of the the ending of that game okay no 
no that's good. you definitely that's a that's a really good example though because it's gonna sound like i'm talking out of both sides of my mouth on this because that's one of the last times and dragon age inquisition is maybe the only other time uh where your saves carry over and so right. there are yeah. decisions that you make in the first game that like show up in the second game and then into the third game as well um but if you didn't play the first one you just jumped into the second one the storyline like it starts out with um this is not a spoiler it's just the premise of mass effect 2 is um commander shepherd has been killed and then they resurrect him so it's starts very fresh anyways okay. um but yeah the the world and the universe the galaxy as it were um carries through from one to two to three and bioware used to do this thing where they can they would start you off in the game making some of those decisions that existed in the first game mm -hmm. so it was almost like a choose your own adventure like what would you do in this scenario and it would if you it didn't have a save to carry over kind yeah. of deal okay yeah. cool okay. yeah or if you did but you wanted like a different um like starting point, you could do that as well. So if you played cool. the first game as a good guy and you made all the good decisions, it would prompt you with a few of these same choices and you could make it something else without having to, without having to replay the whole game. That was like Bioware's thing though, right? That Dude, was like, they're, yes. they were just known for, let's just carry save data over. Connect it. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, real talk, Gear 6 has to. There's, That's why I was excited there, you brought it up. Totally. Yeah. no reason. There's nothing, you can't. It's very different games based off that what has to unless happen. it's just the the choice unless all they unless they don't even bring the, the save forward and it's just like what would you do or what did you do um you could replicate it but I, I I'm with you I want to see that more like it's it's something I wish happened all there, the time there's character yeah. dynamics that literally change not just what the decision you have to make the characters revolving around them could totally. be completely different and have completely different stories which may be why Gears six is taking forever to talk about i know maybe you have yeah. multiple storylines starting there which is, again would be cool but like yeah like I, I i i would be very i just don't and again i'm stupid so that's the problem i don't know how <laughs> you would have gear six start and not carry that over like yeah. how does that happen especially with the narrative of the story and the where where it go how does that happen without carrying over your save data yeah that's yeah. how the other thing i'm thinking about Nice. What else you got, Sean? Uh, that's basically my, the only other one that I would quickly shout out is Fury, which um, does have a good and bad ending. And the reason that that jumps out to me, the Fury is the, the boss rush game um, that I always talk about, um, is there's so much mystery as to like why you're fighting. Like wh there's all these people that you're going in sequence that are trying to put you back in your prison cell. And you're like, I don't even know what I did. Like, I don't even know what what's going on. Why is everybody so mad at me? And why would they go through these lengths to keep me where I am? And in the end you find out and it's amazing. Um, it's just so cataclysmic. Um, and then it's actually more difficult to get to the good ending. Like yeah. there's a, the ending that you will more naturally get to is like, it's very bad, <laughs> very bad things happen. Uh, and it's, it's more difficult to do the right thing, which is kind of one of the underlying messages within the game, which I think is fascinating. So shout out to yeah. Fury. There's, I love that game. I feel like I want to play that. I've seen you play it enough times that like, ah, oh, love it. I probably should pick that up. Sometime. I might play tonight. There you go. Or follow 76 or. Helldivers 2 or, <laughs> or, or, or Manor Lord or, or, or Potato. It'll probably just be probably just be Potato. Yeah. Not. It's easy. You're like, oh, it's 20 minutes. I'm good. Oh, my but God. But then I like six so hours later, it, you're still it totally like one is. more. <laughs> ah, man. Uh, also, shout out to the GTA games. Always having awesome final missions. Yep. Um, true. Oh, good like, call. Mm -hmm. Always, always such cinematic, crazy. What? OK, talk, talk to me, Baza. What? I, I don't know. I'm a very story and you know, that's big for me in games. Most of the time, mm -hmm. man, GTA five, I despised every single character you played as. Mm -hmm. I wanted them like all the to characters. die. Like, oh, I hope you it. all get arrested and rot in prison. <laughs> I mean, they, they were all, all terrible, terrible people. people. They, I was like, they're all terrible people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, like I, I, I did appreciate how five went and they went to multiple characters. You, there was like a similar choice. How are we going to do this? Like, yeah. how is this going to end? But even like four or San Andreas, San Andreas is like epic final mission, right? Like those are like, like, like we had mentioned before, like not necessarily just the difficulty of the mission, but just like how cinematic it is. It's yep. very, uh, GTA's 
for the most part, have really good endings. Um, yeah, yeah. GTA doesn't do that thing that makes a bad ending where it's like, here's every enemy you've seen, and here, like, you got to flip through all the power ups that you've gotten through this right. through this game. Like, it's just so that's so formulaic and boring. GTA 4's final mission, like, kind of set the stage for all of GTA 5. Like, is mm -hmm. it? It kind of was like this. They learn. It's almost like they built the game in order. And they 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 finished the last thing they worked on in GTA Four was the final mission, which was like if I remember correctly, what is it not the heist? Is it not like this big? Mm -hmm. It's a big coordinated piece that you ended up doing quite a lot of that in five. And it's like oh I haven't I haven't seen a mission this big. And it's not just longer. It was more complex, but not in a I don't know. It it was very it was very creative, and yeah. you're like oh I haven't played something like this. In, a, in the best way possible. Shout out to the heist in GTA 5 Online, by the way. Those are awesome. That's kind of what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. It, like it's so the fourth, the ending of four was so great that they base an entire piece of five off of that. Right. Like, oh, that, that's what's good. The heist in five, like, and again, it's not an ending, but it's kind of like the ending of those, but like the heist missions in online are basically yes. like the first part of the mission is getting this one piece that you need. This next mm -hmm. mission is this piece. And then all that craziness combined totally so i mean yeah like they they do god gta 5 on this one those damn fun. add it to those the are, again i'm not gonna list. consider them endings though because no, like i said they're it like it's, a, it's a persistent online it. thing but i mean like four though like you're right four four set up so much for five um but yeah, yeah like those final like oh my god i have to do this and this and this and all these things i've done in this game and not necessarily enemies showing all up like a, like an end game situation but just like utilizing all of the cool things that are all in one big mission it, it, yeah it's really good nice. five yeah. Uh, yeah but you're right five is full of terrible people six i love the fact that six has had one trailer and people are like i love that character already like mm -hmm. people are in <laughs> love with the characters already trying to figure out who's playing them and like all these things like yeah god gta 6 looks good nice but, that's uh, it for me i got one more do it. Probably one of my that, favorite sorry. games of all time, probably because the story was so good and the ending was impactful, and that is Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, nice. And that yeah. does have multiple endings based on a choice you make in the ending and also can be based on how honorable you were throughout your playthrough. The best. So were you helping people or were you just stealing all their stuff? But I love very it. Very emotional. I'm, and I'm I'll say it. it stealing everything some of it some of it hit a little different for me i had not played red dead redemption mm -hmm. so if you don't know red dead 2 oh, is a prequel. red dead has got a great ending too by the way <laughs> yeah, i played the first it since one? then but when i played red dead 2 i had not played the first one red dead 2 is a prequel to red dead 1 so like if you'd played the first one you know some of the people that have to live right they're in the right. next game <laughs> i didn't know that so like everything was on the table in my mind i don't think That's i realized that it. i don't think i knew that red dead 2 yeah. is a prequel to the 360 game yes yes interesting mm -hmm. yep yes and now red i gotta dead replay 2 that because i don't like... remember a damn thing about it other than the ending <laughs> barely remember <laughs> anything about that stupid game and damn then there's it. like an epilogue that kind of sets up yes. the, the original game so yeah but so you know, your choices throughout the game impact what happens. Your choice at the end impacts it, and it is just very emotional. That's so few and far between. Big story. I, I feel like where choices matter, like that just, I don't, yeah. I, I don't feel like we talk about that stuff anymore. I feel like it's not yeah. part of games anymore. The, the choice part of it, I don't mind. The only thing that, I mean, it's easier now because we have YouTube, but it sucks when it's a game wide choice, right? When it's a game long decision that it's like oh if you were good the whole game here's your ending oh i see what you mean it's like oh hey i want to see the bad ending go replay the whole game and be bad i see what yeah. you mean yeah that instead part... of like saving before the decision and then yeah. you can kind of do both. yeah yeah yeah, yeah i mean again i'm call. not saying like you have to do the whole like but if it's an entire game situation that's where i'm like oh that kind of sucks mm -hmm. but i again, wish we had games YouTube. had to built in hey do you want to just watch the other ending yeah you beat the yeah, game that would be real nice. you yeah. don't have to go back and reload a save okay here's the ending you got because this is what you did right here's the other options do you want to watch right. them or not yeah yes, i think please, that would be cool thank you yeah exactly <laughs> or like i said that's why i'm saying like youtube made that way easier in the generation yeah now, but i don't I'm even like, want to do that 
Because then I gotta listen to some other Yahoo yapping over top of What's it. What's up, everybody? Yeah, What's well, up, everybody? Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you want to see this game again. Share it with the buddy. Man. Says the guy who screams yep. at the start of this podcast, but who cares? That's true. <laughs> Saying the guy who has a whole Hogwarts walkthrough on yeah. his YouTube channel. Listen to Mitch tell me out. about his YouTube channel a few times now. That's a good buddy. I'm, I'm there That's already. <laughs> yep. Definitely. So. Oh, yeah. We did so, have uh, some community submissions for nice. their favorite game endings. We love to see that. Mm-hmm. Kevin Ainsworth writes in, says, I genuinely think Alan Wake 2 has one of the best endings of all time because the initial playthrough ends on a cliffhanger and then you got to do this final draft new game plus. And then you got play again. It changes story beats and the ending. He said, I don't normally like having to replay a game, but it fits so well with the game's themes. I loved it. As long as it fits with the game's themes. Like I said, like if New Game Plus is enjoyable, then I guess. And also, I I think if it's too long, though. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound appealing to me at all. Like, at all. Not even a little bit. To replay the game entirely. very much Alan asleep. I am. Oh, man. (laughs) I, spent money I was laughing because I saw it was Alan Wake 2 and I was like, let's hear Sean's reaction to this. He's oh. like, you got to the ending? That's like, crazy. that's how you sleep. get the most out of that game is to play it again. Ugh. It's it's the reason I didn't like get the most out of Nier Automata because I thought that's what the deal was. People would say like, oh, you have these replays. It's like, count me out, dude. Yeah. And it's not that. It's different chapters, different characters even. Like, it's, it's different. Um, this sounds like you're just like... Maybe there's clarity. Maybe they, like, is it more like near Automata or is it how this is reading where you just play it again and experience it slightly differently? Like, I'm not sure. Kevin says it's so good, though. I believe you. And I was there when he was finishing the game, actually, because he did that at Extra yeah. Life. He was playing. Yeah. Um, he was playing there in Rome, New York. But that doesn't sound appealing to me at all <laughs> to replay the game. New Game Plus. And for me, it just depends on the game, right? If yeah. it's something I really loved and enjoyed the whole way throughout. And you tell me that if I play it again, it will be different. Then I could be on board. As long I as mean, Celeste has skippable. that. Celeste as long as has are skippable. That's a big deal. But not like, yeah, just play it. Just yeah. yeah, just can we just get through this? Like you know, like Platt and Spider Man, right? I don't need to see the story again. I just want to skip every cutscene. I just want to get to the ending, and we're good, right? So like new, I, I think it just depends on the experience in the game and how New Game Plus yeah. is treated. Yeah. I don't know why that turns me off so much. The idea of a replay. Because you don't have enough time to yeah. play the games you want to play, and you don't want to I mean, play the game again. That's true. Yeah. And if it's going to be the I'm same, like, I don't know. I I got right. what yeah. I wanted out of this. I know how the story ends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to poo-poo it too much, because obviously it resonates with people out there. And I, I like a little creativity with, like, the ending of games, too. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to, just because it's not that, not, not for me. Still sure. want, still want to see some creativity on how to close out a game. I think that's cool. Right. Yep. All right, next up, we got the Goobla King. I don't know if this counts, but I think Hades does its ending really well, telling chunks of the ending every time you beat it. It really solves the issue of some roguelite lights that have that feeling they will never end. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I agree with that. Um, Croco Kyle also said Hades, because every run gives you another piece of candy to go after. Yep. How many times you have to beat it to get to the actual ending? Something like like a dozen. Okay. But it's it's a roguelike, so it's, you know, you how long is a playthrough? Once you're good at it, how long does a run take? I don't know. Sure. I've never, I've, long. like... I, um, yeah, I didn't get into I watched a friend of mine play through it on stream, like, and I saw most of the, the, the story bits, so I didn't really have that desire to go after it. Like, I knew what the story was, so... Yeah. When I played it, I was just like, meh. All right. My buddy Al loves Oh, really? Hades. Mm-hmm. See, I haven't beaten it. Um, Earlier in the chat, Seth mentioned that Lil Gator game is a perfect game. Uh, To which I say, no. But I think that Hades is damn close. As far as, like, that style of game, like, that's... They nailed it, man. I think that... I think Hades is excellent. It feels great to, to finish each boss and then to keep going. Like, it's... You're putting it all on the line. I think it's great. I know that that formula has been done before, but, yeah, there's all these elements that they do to make it that much better with Hades. I love it. And there was a play test, I think, this weekend that unlocked. I saw a bunch of people yes. playing for Hades 2. Yeah. Hades Shout two. out. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Yeah, nice. Good call. All right. And then Quaggy, who brought up this question to begin with, said <laughs> their top five is Near Automata, 
Yes. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Torna. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Yep. Portal 2 and Bioshock Infinite. Dude, Portal 2. How have we not talked about Portal? Portal's great. The cake is a lie? Mm-hmm. Like, it's <laughs> classic. Like, there's some, there's just some game endings that, like, it is, it's like, the cake is a lie. If you haven't played it, like, if you haven't experienced it, it's not a spoiler. It's just a line that you have to go experience. And it's like, oh, wow. Some of these endings, have they, they reverberate through gaming, like, lore and, and, and communities. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's just some that, yeah. They have, like, a their reputation precedes them, you know? Right. And Portal is definitely one of those games. Also, Portal's always on sale for, like, a dollar. You haven't yes. played it, go play it. <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's on every Steam sale for a dollar. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. please, just go play it. Those are I think that's uh, it. Good choices. I'm surprised, Sean, that you didn't bring up Celeste. I thought that um, was going to be one. Yeah, it's a recency factor, maybe, if nothing else. But yeah, the Celeste ending is, like, the whole journey is is great. Yeah, um, it has kind of both elements. There is a story there that mm-hmm. has a good, nice ending, nice wrap-up to it, but also that, like, I beat it. I did yeah. it. This was a tough game, and I did it. Yeah. Ori is similar to that as well. Um, it also kind of has like this rush at the end. Um, yeah, I like what you said there about that Bowser because there's like um, there's a character in Celeste who is an antagonist so much, um, but the the closing of of that sort of um, antagonistic kind of element is really done beautifully. Yeah, really story wise and gameplay wise. Yeah, that's a good call. And I feel like I was kind I was thinking about Celeste, but I, I feel like I've been I don't know, just too geek, too much geeking out about Celeste lately. But you're right. Like that that ending is is great. And it does have similar to maybe kind of what Kevin was saying. Like you can um depending on how fully you complete it, there can be more to it. So yeah, it's if you like the way it plays, you can play it forever. So maybe it's just the game. Mitch is laughing yeah. at me though. So no, no, I'm not laughing at you. So what I'm oh. laughing at is uh, we talked about games that have multiple endings. Okay. And how some of them are like, you know, we talked about three or four. I'm looking up some of the games. I looked up games with the most endings. Like, what oh, games nice. have the most? Yes. And it says Chrono Trigger here says 18. 18? 18. 18. Um, but then, Brian like, uh, Nier Automata says 26 ending. Uh, Witcher 3 says 36 ending. Does it really? Detroit Become Human, 85. Oh, yeah, Detroit. Star nice. Ocean, the second story, 86 endings. Come on. The No, 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 no. The number one game is a game that he mentioned, Baldur's Gate 3, has 17,000 endings. It does not. Yeah, they're <laughs> all really... so much the same, I'm sure. It like, I want to know what the de- definition 17... of a different ending is. Right. Is it mean this character's changed... alive, this one's not? Like, yeah, yeah. It says how many yeah, dialogue Baldur's sentences Gate... are different? <laughs> it says the third game is set uh, 140. I'm just right here. Uh, it says uh, Baldur's Gate 3 gives players tons of scenarios that can branch out into different outcomes. From choosing NPCs or companions to literally or figuratively stab in the back to align with different guilds, Baldur's Gate 3 has 17,000 possible endings for new and veteran players to discover. Have Dude. fun, Fee. Do all of them. <laughs> we'll have a report ridiculous. on each one individually. Yeah, yeah. Tell what me which different. one's your favorite of <laughs> 17,000. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Witcher is like, Witcher 3, which by the way, I love Witcher 3. I thought the gameplay was good. It's just too big of a game for me to continue playing. 36 endings? Like, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Catherine, Another game. full body, thirteen. Oh yeah, Catherine, good one. Yeah, Persona, the Persona games have a ton of endings. Heavy Rain has seventeen. Like those games always have like the different, like Detroit Become yeah. Human. That's a similar thing though, right? Yeah, like, I need to choose your own adventure yeah. until yeah, exactly. dawn. Yeah, yep. yeah. Another game that was interesting in that is um, Outer Worlds. You could just oh, like roll yeah. up and kill an NPC. <laughs> Like, I, just, I, like I did that. Yeah. I've definitely done that in that game. The first time I watched anybody play it, they just, the first actual NPC you come across in the game. Was it me? Because I did no, that. No, on it wasn't stream. you that I was watching. It was somebody else, and they, they shot the person, and they actually did it on accident, but it. Oh, killed I did the it. NPC. On, totally did it on purpose. It's this guy <laughs> sitting at, he's like a gangster, and he's sitting at a desk. And it's like, it, this seems like this would be simpler if I just killed this guy. And I shot everybody yeah. in the room. It was awesome. So. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good games. Sleep. Good game endings. We did, you know what? And good for us. Like, you know, we only spoiled Wolfenstein 3D. 
Yeah. <laughs> a game that's 35 years old. It's fine. Pretty good. Yeah, we yeah, did great. Good. And I think actually saying what that boss is is probably more incentive for people to play it. Totally. Sure. Well, sure. Right. Yes. Spoiling that is like, hey, you got to go, go fight Mecha Hitler. Here's your game. Yeah, go totally. nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good games. All right. Also, honorable mention Ghost of Tsushima. That game is just awesome. And that story is awesome. And the ending's great. I haven't played so. it. God. I'll ask Seth about it. Do that. <laughs> Just asking for the Sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I don't no, know why I did that. A good game. All right. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Do we have any questions? Uh, no, no questions. Everybody just wanted to answer their top That's fair. Game, so. That's fair. All right. Cool. Appreciate that. Well, well uh, the pressure's on community. You've got yeah. to decide our topic every week going forward. Exactly. Because we're not having it. It's here. all, we ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> we didn't even do it this <laughs> week. How many? We didn't. Mitch, how many episodes have we been on? Because it hasn't been a ton. Eight? We're already giving up on topics. <laughs> yeah, we 100%. didn't even make it to time. Sean's been doing this for like 300 some episodes. Like, I get it. To He's be fair, it was Sean's idea to not have the topic. I just want to point that out. We don't have Sean's to. I just, idea. I was just exploring in the space. I was, I was just thinking it, about though. it. I just, yeah. We no, can, real we talk. I mean, it. I just, I, I don't mind. We can talk about games for two hours. Talk about whatever we want. We talk about a lot yeah, of Xbox stuff. It's still an Xbox podcast. Let's go. Totally. A hundred percent. And okay. we also have a whole list of topic ideas that we could easily just throw in there and stamp yeah. F it. I'm we'll not just say that that's it. a viewer question. <laughs> we just do that. We'll invent that. viewers. Yeah. Invent viewers. We don't have <laughs> to do that. Rich, Rich Bauer. We yes. have real ones. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we <laughs> we gave them, up on our actual people some... that listen to our show and straight up just go, we'll Please make up no. people that have I'll start questions. sliding some of our, our fans xbox codes for the store like gift cards <laughs> here ask this question oh do me a favor God. make it legit ask this I love question it. yeah we can't get too settled in you know 300 odd episodes into the show we can't ever get like too comfortable we gotta be shaking no, it up no we matter what talk about something. Yeah. there's always new, new things happening. oh we're man. good well speaking of real listeners we do want to give to a quick thanks uh for everybody at patreon.com slash carpool gaming but before we do that this does bring us to the end sadly of the episode number 336 of the Xbox Drive. I've had just a ton. I've laughed, I have cried, I've been drinking my Gatorade the whole time. This has been so much fun. Uh, but Mitch, why don't you go ahead and tell the people listening where they can find you on the internet, my friend. Uh, you can find me on X. 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 Uh, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all of the above at Mitch Power 1116 uh, I stream literally almost every day except for fridays where i do this show i stream every other day other than that you'll find me uh doing uh mondays and tuesdays where i teach people how to do stuff on stream or i edit content uh, so if you guys want to learn any obs stuff or i uh, have any stream questions show up mondays or tuesdays i love talking to people about stream stuff uh wednesdays and thursdays usually single player stuff at this moment it is hogwarts legacy so we're playing a lot of that and of course uh weekends with the boys where we play a lot of call of duty and apex and hopefully hell divers soon so yeah yeah find me everywhere on mitch on their mitch power 1116. nice uh mitch power your dreams of course mitch power your yes. Dreams. yes of course bowser how about you where can people find you on the internet you could find me on x at bowser 13. find me in the discord causing all kinds of trouble talking nonsense uh sunday 11 a.m eastern side tracker session in the discord come hang out we don't have a game we're talking about. We just catch up, hang out, some sweet hangs with the sweet community. Sweet hangs. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Be there or be square. Nice. I love it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, as for me, you can find me on Xbox Gamer Tag, Sean Capri, Sean Lake Connery, Capri Like the Pants, and also on Twitter. Same name. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Carpool Gaming Live is generally where you will find me streaming some Fallout 76, some Helldivers 2, maybe some Hellblade. Uh, maybe Manor Lords. Who knows, man? It's all on the whiteboard as I, as I reference to that. Maybe Speared Fair or Hollow Knight apparently are on there as well uh, over at Twitch. Um, and the other thing I would like to say is uh, catch me at the Calgary Expo on yeah. Saturday, April hey. 27th, standing directly across from the wonderful smelling Victor Lucas, the legend. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Victor Lucas, who I imagine smells great. Phenomenal. Wonderful personal hygiene. Just great. Uh, can't wait to do that thing. Um, yeah. So thank you everybody for listening. But before we go, 
want to thank everybody. There's a hundred people plus over at patreon.com slash carpool gaming. It's incredible. Um, we are all wearing extra life shirts here, by the way, and your support. We're going to, we're going to put out something. I want to let you guys know what your support really does help us do. Um, but rest assured, um, that money through Patreon, through Twitch, through merch, it is helping the carpool crew get to extra life this year. So more details on that. And if you want to support us, you can join the ranks of all those wonderful people, especially a thank you to our ultimate producers, Mr. Tony Baker, who you can support at youtube.com slash quest for pixels, Jonathan Brown, who does the music for this show and the PlayStation drive. You got to listen to it at linktree slash PME dot J I B Lee Navarro, the fearless leader of the Phoenix overdrive extra life team. Go to Phoenix overdrive.com sign up today, join our discord, talk about extra life. We're planning out the things we're going to be there. It's going to be great. And thank you to Quagmire, who reminds you that the best babes are Xeno Babes, our platinum producers, Robbie Bobby Miller, Smokin' Yo, and Tim Pollan, and our gold members, Adam K, Anna, Awesome Dave, Blah Blah Blah, Brad Moore, Brian Reese, Cecily Carozza, Crockle Kyle, Dan and Luma, Dano, and <laughs> Devontae Johnson. It's the back and forth that Mitch does that kind of gets me. I'm so sorry, guys. Devontae Johnson, Emily O'Kelly, Yon32, Marcus O'Neill, Pehe EP, Shane Erickson, Tim Ulf, and Toxic. Thank you, everybody, over at patreon.com slash carpoolgaming. That brings us to the end of episode 336. As Ryan points out in the chat, 350 is right around the corner, and 360 is just after that. So Xbox 360 yeah. coming up for you. Um, that's the end. You guys all want to say goodbye in unison? We'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of the Xbox Drive. Now, before you drive off, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow Carpool Gaming on socials. Don't forget that we've got some awesome Xbox Drive merch on carpoolgaming.com and you can also support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash carpoolgaming for exclusive content. Links to everything are in the description. We'll see you next week.